bit. Hello, everybody. How's it going? We will be starting here momentarily as I undeafen myself. Oh, Lord. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Mute right back the fuck up. I'm just trying to enjoy the relax and peace, man. It's like one hour of ASMR and randomly interrupted by a Pikmin drowning. <laughs> That came on right now. Uh, I think Azura was playing Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> Not the baby drowning uh, yeah, run. Yeah, the <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you let your Pikmin drown, you're bad. <laughs> in multiple so ways in one. I was running a test to see whether or not you could hear it while deaf. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I do have to say with my shader for the stream because it fucking eats up GPU. So we got to go back to fucking murky gray. I'd rather it be a cool blue than just like this fucking depressing Silent Hill fog shit. Oh, I still have the fucking back music playing. There you go. There we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another Final Fantasy 14 Heaven Sword session with Romani. Uh, so I was going to say Romani Romani. I was like, no, it's Romani Momani. Uh, this is my alt character, and I'm taking him through every expansion of Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV. I don't know. We are currently at level 58. We are well above the level we should be for this point in the story. But it's fine, because I am ready to hit that level 60 cap for Heaven's Ward. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. But before we continue on with the story, we're at level 58. We got some job quests to finish up on. Well, thankfully just one, because... Uh, we're at level 58, and next up is the 58 quest, and we want to do this one as soon as we can because we get the second part of our combo extender, this Wheeling Thrust. Really, uh, really important skill for a Dragoon to have. Wait, there's a... you're level 58 already? Mm-hmm. Huh. 
Uh, this is in part a couple of reasons. Uh, Vanilla Rabbit, thank you very much for the uh, raid. Party of One, hope you were enjoying whatever it is you were streaming. Um, so, because I've been playing this game for so long, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of tricks of the trade in terms of leveling up as fast as you possibly can. The big one is probably getting collector's editions of expansions, uh, because by doing that, you often get a leveling accessory. Uh, in the case of Endwalker, it's the Menfina's Earring, where your experience is increased by 30% when level 80 and below. And this is applied to your account. This is uh, applied to your entire account. So whatever character you make will get this earring uh, as a bonus accessory. And not only does it give you uh, EXP bonus of 30%, it also levels up with you up until level 80. So you never need to wear an earring accessory ever again until you get to the current expansion, essentially. And that combined with the squadron manuals that I grinded off screen in, in my downtime between the end of that Realm Reborn and the beginning of Heavensward, uh, I got squadron battle manuals for my squadrons. And this right here for two hours when I pop it is a 15% EXP increase. So that stacked with the 30% I get from the earring is a 45% increase to experience for everything I do. Which is why we are already at level 58. We are going to reach level 60 today, like easily. And I'm ready because uh, off screen, I had my main character, Jean, craft an entire level 67 for Armani that he's going to equip immediately. Uh, also, shout outs to K for helping me get those items over there, by the way. Does it apply retroactively? As in, uh, what do you mean by that, Azura? Uh, spe I, just specifically, so I understand the question. Uh, it's given to everybody. Not retroactively, it's given to everybody. Uh, the thing is, though, because the earring only applies to the last expansion's level cap, your main character, assuming they're ready to go to the next expansion, won't get any use out of it. It's mainly meant for leveling alternate jobs or alternate characters. I just wanted to say hello. Why is the translate button still broken on Twitter? Oh, yeah, I've been hearing very on and off things about it. Like, it personally worked for me last time I used it because there are Japanese tweets that I can't read. Uh, but it still shows up. Unable to translate this tweet. Please try again later. No, it means off. give me $8. No, I'm not giving you $8, Mr. Yeah, Musk. Give me, give me $8. Just do it now. No. Do it. No, I'll, do I'll, it. I'll, 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 I will I'll reach, give it to you and reach, charge it back. Level. Come on. <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brandon Network in your Arkham City review you said you'd check out the Wii version Wii U version later oh my god could you imagine I'm assuming you never played it the frame rate is a bit low no I've hold, hold on hold on a second let's pause 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 here I'm assuming you never played it and then you follow up on that assumption working that assumption I'm gonna tell you other thing I have played Armored Edition on Wii U it's just fuck who yeah. fucking cares? I, it's it's not a good version of Arkham City. It, it, it does one thing and one thing only. It gives Batman these augmented gloves, right? Which are pretty much a precursor to the shot gloves from Arkham Origins. That's it. Everything else about it is just worse. Uh, I hate Batman's new look in that. I hate Catwoman's new look in that. Because for some reason, they added like 50 fucking pounds to her face and cheekbones uh, for her armored suit. And it doesn't look good. But don't work off the assumption that I may or may not. If I don't talk about it, it doesn't necessarily mean I didn't play it. It's just that I got nothing to talk about. Because what happens if you work on an assumption, then you end up being wrong. You just look like a fool. But yeah, Armored Edition is a, uh, it's okay. It's a perfectly mid release of Arkham City. I tell you to just play the PC version. Or how about OG that? Version. What would you say is the best version? Of PC. PC non-Return to Arkham related. Okay. Because yeah. it's going to say, ah, but what about them absolutely destroying the lighting effects? Right. I have not touched the Return to Arkham versions of those games because I thought even at release, it's like, these don't look good at all. What did you do? <laughs> yeah, I was like, why? No, it's not so much what did you do, Is why do you do? <laughs> Like, I think, like, a simple res-up job would have been enough, but to, like, remake assets in the, uh, what was it, Unreal Engine 4 or 5? 
or some other shit. I don't know, but it just doesn't look good. Uh, Santiago posted a yeah, dude. Like, check check her face in that screenshot. What the and hell's it, going on? Yeah, check her face in that screenshot and the way she looks in the original game. It's like, dude, she's suffering from an allergy. They added more bone to her face. Yeah, that's it. Dude, it's they ugly. Her, the, <laughs> that's not Catwoman that you're looking at, John. That's actually Batman with uh, Catwoman's face <laughs> wrapped it on. Polish Sasquatch, <laughs> I always feel like an ass uh, to answer your question in the chat. Yeah, like what a jawline. Here comes the Crimson Chin. Minecraft, Minecraft acid. acid. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up ate a beat. <laughs> uh, John, how's it feel to be back on SGB again? Any plans to do new SmackDown Sundays with a gang? Uh, SmackDown Sundays are a distinct possibility. I'm not going to say no, but again, we're back on a part time schedule. Uh, at we're, we're not meeting every Sunday like we used to, or at least every weekend, because sometimes it wouldn't be on Sundays. Um, well, that's why you rename it. Yeah. Smackdown some days. Some <laughs> <laughs> I'm stealing that, by the way. <laughs> but uh, no, we're, we're, we're back on a part time schedule. We're not uploading every day. We're not meeting up every weekend because the last thing I want for us to do is get burned out. Uh, so we are just taking our time with it. So uploads are going to be a little slower than what you used to. I mean, it's better than the last three years. There's none at all. <laughs> but someday, 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 when yeah. the fuck will they return? Yeah, exactly. It's good that we're back, though, because I'm tired. I was getting tired of fucking lying to you guys saying that. Eh, maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to I wanted to keep it a surprise for the TMG announcement. Well, I mean, I wanted to keep the reaction as authentic as possible for the TMG announcement, and now, uh, now that it's done, it was very much worth it because that yeah, reaction. I'm glad we, got, we had no leaks. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, I know, right? But uh, that re that reaction we got at the panel was in genuinely very exciting, and just the comments we've gotten in the last couple of videos, the Mario Party video. Oh my God! Like the entire comment is just like, "Oh my God, you're actually back," and Mortal Kombat is like. Holy shit, you guys are back. Uh, but yeah, that that, that was a great feeling. And I, I hope you guys uh, enjoy what we have in store. Uh, in terms of, because I get this question a lot for the follow-up. Is that one of them a rank? Yeah, you're going to be rank. Uh, the follow-up question that I get a lot is, are we going to resume Saints Row, Spider-Man, and Final Fantasy VII? And the answer is yes, but not now. Uh, in my yeah. case, because I was the one playing Final Fantasy VII, I haven't loaded that save file in three plus years like since the hiatus started same uh, so well, i was following with you guys <laughs> yeah so i kind of just stopped playing and when the thing with me when i stopped playing an rpg man it is tough for me to just resume that file like years later like the urge to just restart is strong in that case but i don't want to because i don't think i'll need to it's final fantasy 7 you know uh outside of that uh, Spider-Man 2, I think out of all of them, Spider-Man 2 is the one we're likely going to restart the soonest, because Elliot has shown interest in going back to that, because he really likes that game. Uh, Saints Row, I can't put a concrete timestamp on. Uh, we're actually, um, one of the things that we talked about behind the scenes in terms of, like, the revival of the channel is that we want to avoid doing very long games. Uh, and we, we, we kind of like pointed Matt out specifically as like, uh, I don't want to do another Far Cry game anytime soon. Uh, after we finish Saints Row, let's just veer away from the GTA Sims. Because they take forever to finish. And they do much better in like highlights or compilations than they do in individual playthroughs. Like I enjoy the journey, but the journey just takes too fucking long. Hmm. Uh, this isn't random of me, but I'm hoping for a Metroid Prime 2 review. No, it's not even random. I think that's 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 only a matter of time, Anthem Hero. Well, I'm going to be the odd one now. Okay, go ahead. I don't want you guys to go back to Spider-Man 2. Really? Why not? I'd rather you guys go to something else like Ultimate Spider-Man. <laughs> to be fair, I, I, I want to go back to it because I want I, I want us to finish that game. You know, so that it opens up the the road to future Spider-Man games that Elliot may or may not want to play, or something that I want to play. You know, it doesn't have to be Elliot that plays Spider-Man games. Hell, when we did that Spider-Manathon years ago for SGB, 
I think I played a majority of those games. At least with Ultimate Spider-Man, you can have a reason as to why you aren't going to go back to Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Venom kills the balloon kid. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's a, that, that, that's, that's such a, a that, weird that, opening, that, but yeah. That is a, that is a, a canon event. <laughs> Fuck this kid. Uh, Hunter, love you. Thank you for the tier one. Love the new bid, John. Who, is, who the hell is Nero anyway? I don't know. Probably we're going to find out in DMC5. You know, oh my god, the comments I've gotten by, really the, the comments I've gotten by like fucking saying, dude, it's not the Buster, it's the Double Bringer. I was like, dude, okay, but the command grab is called Buster. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, well, no, thank you for watching the video, though. I appreciate it. Um, that was um, that was a fun game to experience. That I'm currently almost done the main campaign of DMC. I haven't played it since the last Discord stream. Uh, FYI. Uh, but I'm planning on likely finishing it tonight or tomorrow. And then I'm going to start Virgil's Downfall uh, Monday. And I'm going to make that a Discord stream as well. Uh, from what I understand, Virgil's Downfall is not terribly long. Uh, well, without getting into details, mm. uh, really, like, too, too many details. There's an arm that you can have for Nero in 5 that acts exactly like his Devil Bringer arm in 4. And it's called the Buster Arm. Yeah. So that's probably where you got your wires crossed. Yeah. yeah um. Maybe I want to. If if I want to save face completely, like yeah, absolutely. That's all I was thinking. <laughs> or I could just like own up to my mistakes and say, nah, I, I just fucking got it wrong, dude. Uh. But yeah. But the the Buster is the name of the command grab itself. But the arm itself is called the Devil Bringer. Yeah. You know, because you bring devils to you. You know. So, also, yeah. what do you, what do you think of Nirante so far? <laughs> yeah, this does feel like a Western interpretation of the Nero character for Dante, and you know what? I this is going to be a very interesting video. I gotta tell you, uh, for DMC. he's got both move sets together. Yeah. DMC Devil May Cry. My final thoughts on it. I, I I've, I'm gonna have to really think hard about what I want to put my thoughts on the paper for this one. Because I liked the game. Like, I've been enjoying the game, but I need to express what I liked, why I like it. You know, and that's going to be the hard part for me specifically, because especially for this game being so contentious. Yeah. Oh, Fuck is, you! <laughs> I'm 12 years old. You don't look like a day over 13. Then <laughs> he shoots the baby. <laughs> Sparks. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing DMC. Uh, next. Bitch detective. Bitch detective. Is, that with one of, is that one of the limbo signs? <laughs> like on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch detective. <laughs> Kill this hoe. <laughs> oh, horror, oh, horror, horror! It's 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 too sophisticated. Just who's hoe? Unless we're talking about like a gardening tool. Actually, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about the gardening tool. I was like, oh, I thought they're cringe. About <laughs> L plus ratio. Okay, we did our job quests, our level 58 job quests, and now we have Wheeling Thrust. This is the second combo extender for uh, Dragoons 1, 2, 3. Happy to be here. All right, hold on. I'm yeah. getting a call from my mom at 9.30 at night. That raises the yikes meter. I'll be right back. <laughs> John, you're pregnant. So, chat, we watched Transformers today. It was, uh, it was definitely something, all right. 
We watch Revenge of the Fallen in uh, the, the sub shack. Yeah, the second movie where uh, the Fallen gets his uh, his ass handed to him in literally like five minutes <laughs> after Optimus Prime gets resurrected. It was such an anticlimactic death to the, the big bad. Megatron loses half his face in the scuffle. What the and fuck? he wasn't even the intended to target. Come back to <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everything good? No, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Mom just w wanted to know the high school that I graduated from. I was like, you call me at 930 at night for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm playing it through the first time after playing PS2 uh, one to death. I'm actually enjoying it. I just want to talk about it. I never saw Arkham City Round 2 or whatever, so I didn't know. To be fair, Round 2 wasn't even a thing. when Because Arm Armor Edition is years ago. I think it's 10 years ago at this point. Uh, actually, uh, first time I time sharing bits on Twitch, Gratos would be my first streamer I send bits to. Oh, I feel so honored. I'm going to do a lot with that. <laughs> but uh, no, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Armored Edition, the Wii U version of Arkham City. Yeah, man, that's like fucking. Uh, I, I think it was 2013 when it came out. Mm. I think so. Anyway. But uh, anyway, where the hell am I going? Chat, if you're uh, right, interested. Right. We are going to be going through the rest of this train rent series, so uh, maybe some point next weekend or the, the weekend after that, we will be going into the uh, the third Transformers movie. Uh, Blue Dino, that depends on what job quest it is you got to do. Is it level 58? And if so, what's the skill that you get from it? If it's level 58, you're probably going to get clemency. And I mean, the answer is you should always do your job quest before you do MSQ. I see so many newbies with their jobs and stuff like that, and they don't have access to like half of their kit because they don't do job quests. Yeah, I'm just doing MSQ and all this sort of shit. If you want to catch up, you can catch up if you want, you know. I'm basing it around what I do. So I'm doing MSQ. Yeah, do your job quest. You fucking once you reach a certain level threshold and it tells you it's like you can now perform, you can now like, you know, continue job quest like that. You fucking stop what you're doing, you go and do your job quest. Get that skill. It's important. The level 60 paladin quest though is does have a solo instance if I recall correctly. So you're gonna have to fight some goons. All right, Simmeru, we last left off, we we, we finished off Nidhogg. Well, Estedian finished off Nidhogg, and he got blood all over his armor, and he's going to be wearing that red suit for, like, the rest of the fucking story. And he never showers. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember anything about that third film whatsoever, so it'll be like watching it for the first time. Nah, man. Uh, and then I'm gonna be very <laughs> disappointed once we get to uh, Transformers: yeah, Age like, of Consent. I think it was the be Ugh. I think that was the <laughs> it was the back to back for me because I did notice you guys in the sub Discord watching Revenge of the Fall, and I was like, man. <laughs> uh, it was, I I was so burned by Revenge of the Falling in theaters that it's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna reluctantly watch Dark of the Moon. It, it is Dark of the Moon, right? Another movie. Yeah, um, I'm gonna watch that in theaters because again, I I enjoyed myself with the original Transformers movie, the 2007 film. So I was like, you know, I really did enjoy that. And Revenge of the Fallen was a piece of shit. It still looked nice, but I was, you know, just like, oh my god, fuck everything else about this movie. So it's like, you know what? I'll just I'll watch Dark of the Moon. And then I'm literally falling asleep. I am bored to tears watching this movie. And it's so <laughs> fucking long. Like, there's a sequence, if I recall correctly. I'm not sure if it's, like, towards the middle or the end of the movie. Where they're in the city. And the building is falling. It's, it's on the verge of falling. And they have to do, like, this balancing act. And I swear to Christ, it goes on for fucking ever. This particular scene. 
that I wanted to just scream in the theater. I wasn't going to, because I'm not that kind of asshole. But after that, after the credits roll for that one, I was like, I'm never watching another Transformer movie again. I haven't. I've, I've held true to that since. I have not watched any other Transformers movie outside of Dark, uh, after Dark of the Moon. The only one I'm interested in looking back is Bumblebee, because I hear everyone say that it, this is the, the best Transformers movie. I mean, well then, uh, you'll have to join us once we get to, uh... No, I, I can't agree, Blue Dino. Revenge of the Fallen is dog shit, dude. <laughs> it yes! Is, it is, yes, it, it was. It is absolute dog shit. Like, um, like I don't mean to I don't mean to dog on anybody that genuinely likes the movie, but I personally think it's a piece of shit. I also just leveled up just by exploring the map. And uh the, the only thing that's surprising about Revenge of the Fallen is that um outside of skids and mud flap, there's only like two other racist moments. God, man, those names even sound racist. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, they're, they're supposed to be shit jokes. <laughs> uh, Transformers The Last Night has aspect ratio changes throughout the film, often randomly mid-scene and between shots. The film trailer itself includes eight sh shots of eight different ratios. I think it's because uh, some parts were probably filmed in IMAX. Uh, for the IMAX experience. You know who also did that a lot? Fucking the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy. Mm -hmm. uh, Where they, they wrecked two uh, IMAX cameras. Yeah. And it's like, when you know about it, you can't help but keep looking at it because it's so fucking distracting. Yeah. Uh, but, oh, that's right. This this part of the map doesn't com doesn't fill itself out because it's out of bounds until you, like, complete the other areas. That's just so fucking weird. I'm just going to tell you. Yeah, that. Dark of the Moon had these really weird... We're going to hold on these two characters. And the camera is just gonna rotate around them like it's orbiting them. And it holds on it for like a good two or three minutes. You start to get motion sickness. We were talking about a behind the scenes, Emil, and we're we're pretty sure it is because of the writer strike that the movie ended up being what it is, but like at the end of the day, you gotta take you gotta you gotta just critique what it was given to you, and I think what was given to us was just dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> Live caravan reaction just rotating. <laughs> just rotating yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, no, I, literally, there were so many points while we were watching the sub check where we're like, that makes no sense. Or, ah, the writer strike. <laughs> <laughs> just a catch all term. I want to know, like, I want to see the animation team, like, reaction and to like so yeah this giant decepticon has testicles and that's it like i wanted to see like the, i mean the reaction was all right it's a paycheck <laughs> but uh like i do wonder about that sort of shit so uh megatron can transform into a weird alien jet and other times he uh can transform into a weird alien tank so what's the fallen going to transform into? Uh, he teleports. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, <all>. okay. <laughs> okay, now we can go back to Zion. Right, sorry, I was flying, no, no, all, no, I, I was I flying all over the place because I wanted to complete the map. Sam recreates the Matrix, resurrects Optimus. <laughs> yeah, now we can go fight. And then as soon as they're about to say the fallen... The Fallen shows up, steals the Matrix, <laughs> doesn't elaborate, <laughs> leaves. You can't talk to Eddie, then it hits the gritty and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> just teleports and he just, teleports. He just starts up. crying. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, get fucked. Also, <laughs> Star Scream is Dorito, is Dorito shape. shape. That's right. I mean, what, what shape was he in the OG show? Or like the older generations, because uh, I mean they were all humanoid yeah. originally, and even in this, they're mostly humanoid except Starscream. He's just Dorito. 
that you can't wait to get all the aether shards uh, i mean aether currents again for Stormblood through uh and walker well but hopefully by the time well i mean by the time we get romani to and walker 7.0 will already be out so they'll reduce the aether currents by half in and walker because as of now it's still the full set but stormblood stormblood's not going to be bad until we get to i think the peaks of the locks and it has that one dickhead of aether current that nobody likes and i hate it I do love, um, I, it was like a blink in the miss it moment of just like a, a two dimensional transformer. So if he turns his body a certain way, you literally can't even see him. It's just like a line. <laughs> the moment I prized your eye from his head. Cardboard cut out stormtrooper moment. Exactly. It's like if Doodle Bob just flipped himself sideways. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> hey, just look up. Thank you very much, my Twitch Prime. If you had a sibling that you only sort of sort of liked, wouldn't you give them one of your eyeballs if they were both blind? <laughs> well, they can grow them back, so yeah. well, does it really matter? <laughs> Wait, dragons can grow their eyes back? Is no. that what you said? No, no. Uh, their eyes are an immense source of their power, yeah. But they don't grow back. Oh. But then how one, that one motherfucker loses his eyes multiple times? Well, no, but, yeah, but that's exactly why he had one of Ray Felgar's eyes, because in a, in a flashback that we saw, uh, the original, like, Knights 12 ripped both eyes out of Nidhogg and left him blind. It's actually here. We're, we're going to see this cutscene here. Yeah, so this is post that battle, and Nidhogg is essentially blind because he has no eyes. And Horace Fogar is like, damn. <laughs> what happened to you? You okay, bro? And so what, he gave him one of the eyes? Yeah, he gave him he gave him one of his eyes to at least have him see and uh, give him, like, some strength. <laughs> That's right, buddy. That's right, buddy. Is this supposed to be a metaphor for removing elephant tusks? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How do you get here without being able to see? I think Horace Felgar came to Nidhogg. <laughs> Who wears the seeing eye dog? Oh, you gotta tell me where are you? Am I close? <laughs> Marco. <laughs> Mortal maid, what? Uh he's talking about uh Saint Shiva. The the human that Horace Valgar fell in love with and then eventually ate. Uh ate out, right? No, <laughs> as an eight. Oh. Dragon love, man. You wouldn't get it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he bored her? Oh my god. It saves on wedding costs, I guess. Yeah, like for to like solidified the pact that Horace Felgar and Saint Shiva made. Horace Felgar literally consumed Shiva to, to absorb her essence to become a so they're they're essentially one. But, you know, from the outside perspective, it's like, dude, you totally fucking bored that girl. <laughs> uh, but it's like, yeah, there, there's meaning behind it, but it's also, it's really weird to explain out of context. But uh, Nidhogg wants like, nothing to do with humans and is disgusted by Harris Velgar's love for a human because, you know, to Nidhogg, uh, humans are the mortal enemy. Like, they want to kill us, so I want to kill them back. Nidhogg's very angry. I can just whittly whittly woo my eye to you. <laughs> Plus, humans killed their sister, right? Um, what was the name of the dragon again? Red, Red, Red Toadsker, I think it was. Or uh... <laughs> my vengeance has begun. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ratatouille. That was the name of the dragon. The dragon's name was Ratatouille. <laughs> Mister, I would try to go see if you can get another eye first. 
you know, it's just a, co- yeah, as a no, contingency. At the very least, like, oh, okay, maybe Nidhogg doesn't want to, like, do one of those class size sort of things, because, like, everybody knows it's fake. But, you know, at the very least, Groucho Mark specs. <laughs> Get yourself a little plastic nose and a furry mustache. It was yours. What going on in here? Uh, have a MSQ. Yeah, we're we're talking about years. how uh, Horace Felgar and Saint Shiva solidified their pack by Horace Felgar, literally eating Saint Shiva. Oh yeah, they fucked. The yeah, dragon they fucked, fucked and they ate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this really weird definition of eating out, but yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what someone else. Said. That's what Jason said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, her, so obviously. he ate her out, right? Yeah. No, like, no, no, he ate her. Ate her. Oh, so it's Vor. <laughs> some, uh, some fucking dragon pilot <laughs> bullshit out here. Yeah, so now they're truly one. But if you know, if you, you know. The original, the original cut meeting of these two was like, you know, Horace Velgo was fucking livid seeing Isel because Isel is using Shiva as a vessel to become, like, a primal. And the very thought of someone... Like, imagine imagine someone summoning a primal and it's in the form of your wife. <laughs> That's dead. Yeah, that'd be really weird, right, Tiamat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Shiva. No, you're fucking not. <laughs> Damn, Heaven Sword. Available now. This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire fucking game, by the way. It's just a guy named Astidian Wormblood. A guy who, someone who claims to be your dead wife, your dad, and just some random other guy who just, like, walks to your house. He, he has a very complete reasonable reaction of, get the fuck out of here, dude. What are you doing here? What are, what's what's happening? Thanks for the eye, but get the fuck out, please. Also, and we're acting like Ray Song is a bad guy here. Take a fucking shower, my guy. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Alphano's here. I forgot he was here. Alphano, gatherer of wood. So, like... Right. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Yeah, you can also now play with Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the song that's playing now that's in this area of Zenith is called Contention. Uh, it is one of my favorite themes in the expansion. Actually, the game. Although, I gotta say, it kind of hits different when you're <laughs> in DSR. <laughs> like, during the eye phase. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. like, I know why they're playing this song here, because it's what plays during the cutscene uh, with the eyes, but it's, like, in the middle of a, in the fight. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, no, you gotta save the, the, the feel bad for later. Yeah. with fury in my heart that I took up the lance. Every blow I struck, I struck in the name of vengeance. We were not so... Uh, who's the Luigi of 14? Alize. Duh. Hate begets hate. <laughs> You know what's funny because um fucking uh Asidian's voice actor here for Heaven Sword is also they brought him back for the Dragoon character in 16. And it's like I smiled because like if you know you, if you know, you know. The tale is incomplete. The more I the more I, I play of 16, the more I see folks per season 16 like react to certain things like, dude, this is just a solo 14. <laughs> like I'm all for it because I love this game, so. It's a walking ad read. Yeah. Who had taken such pains to prolong the Dragon Song War, suddenly decide to hurl his entire army against the walls of Ishgard. Lord Commander. I. The deed is done. Are you still covered in blood? Not answering that. Oh, that means yes. <laughs> Get a shower, <laughs> <Estadian>. <laughs> Oh, they have nano machines. <laughs> is this Senator Armstrong fourteen? <laughs> the Senator Armstrong. Uh, fuck, man. I I feel like I can actually answer this. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars. Probably this dude from the weapon storyline. I gave no order Are you talking about the fucking guy who's looking at the goddamn Grubhub ad? Yes. <laughs> yes, that one. Also likes drinking milk. Mayhap 
Raceburger was right about us. I remember like the build up to that guy, by the way, like in the weapon quest line, because at first you don't see his face, you just see him like working out. And yeah. they like like oddly detailed sweaty body. I was like, oh, who is this guy? And then they finally reveal his face, like, dude, it's just someone's dad. <laughs> there has been enough violence. I will appeal to my people in the city and make them see reason. I guess <laughs> the three side quest names. Poetic shit, song lyric, and buds. <laughs> Come then, Lady Iceheart. Let us write the final chapter in this damnable war. We're only halfway through the expansion. Hell, not even the expansion. It's just 3.0. Sir, do we have to have this music playing every single time we have this roundtable meeting? <laughs> it helps with the environment. Please, stop asking me that. A small army of you, if you listen closely, you can hear the PlayStation the spawn. <laughs> Filthy rats! A sizable contingent of our soldiers is already in place to repel the Dravanian assault. And the intruders will soon find themselves outnumbered and outmatched. We're talking about the fucking guy from the uh, weapons uh, questline, and Edith immediately sends me the fucking image of the uh, him looking at the camera with just the, the words <laughs> nice cock written at the bottom. <laughs> Thank you, Edith. <laughs> to their prayers for deliverance. Very good. Grant I never put Kaka in the Hero on 7 TV, did I? <laughs> I don't think you have, no. No, I haven't. Uh, I also have to re-enable the 7 TV emotes on the... I think this has been bugging out, because it's been bugging out my end, too. Oh, has it? Okay, cool. I'm not the only one. Because uh, I'll, I'll see Joel in the chat, but I'll, I'll look at the feedback, and it just says... Here, here I'll test it. One second. Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. French. <laughs> okay, no, it didn't work. No, it didn't work. Whew, finally alone. He just rips the biggest fucking fart. I am in your walls. <laughs> Rudy does have that kind of energy. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Well, Aubrey's the type of guy who like to waste everyone to leave in order before asking for for juice. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to be embarrassing. It is time for the bringer of light to die. I didn't want to interrupt your meeting, but rat toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing! He's <laughs> in the goddamn wall. And suddenly the entire guy in the city's on fire. Weird. What happened? So, so he was given that look, but it's like, you think it's because of his sail, but it's like, no, it's like, why is his armor, like, drenched in blood? Oh, you found the Fucking, blood right now. The laundromat is right down the street. Sir, is Ruby Ruby Red Dye came out four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this dial is great. He's sitting this lousy with money, so he probably like paid like the bottom pricing list of the ruby red die on the market port, <laughs> which is the most expensive one. Comrades, sheathe your swords. There is no need for further bloodshed. My lady, she is come. Gotta hope she isn't. <laughs> 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 I, it is so. This adventurer and the Azure Dragoon. See, this would be a, she's she's delivering it as if she's on some sort of soapbox and talking to like fifty thousand people, but it's just some interns in a soundstage. <laughs> <laughs> Between man so, yeah, you can definitely use your, in your inside voice here. You don't really gotta be screaming <laughs> nothing. You have followed me, bled with me to bring this truth to light that we might. Now you look pretty pristine. I don't think you bled at all. <laughs> you bled with me, although I healed. But Nidhogg Thank is you, dead. Power, Rebecca. 
dog is dead, my friends. He who some of us have died, not me though, I'm different, but some of you that, that sucked. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's also not right to call Estinian the Azrael Dragoon when he's just drenched in red. Yes, I, I think you missed the definition. Yeah, so now he's just the Ruby Dragoon. Oh, no, Which would also be a pretty, uh, uh, that also fucking, be a pretty hard name. The, what's red in Spanish? Far from it. Fuck, At I feel like I should know this. I don't know, get, I don't, Taco Bell doesn't pay me enough to actually get Spanish. <laughs> Taco Bell red. Yeah, Taco Bell yeah. red! Uh, roll what, what, what the hell do you call it in fucking one sussy red? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Nope, oh, okay, bye, Linky. Be weird about it. We lost. Go home. Seize the witch. Go home. Providing aid and succor to the wound. <laughs> Archibald looks like grow up, dude. <laughs> That's grass. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same. <laughs> and I really want to kill some guys. <laughs> I had during that cutscene, I finally wrapped up the grinding I've been doing all day, and I'm now finally strong enough for my ult to go into a Tantara. Oof. So what's this experiment? You're trying to solo the entire thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm going through the entire game, and I had to level up, um... <laughs> I had to level up my Miner to 27 and my Alchemist to 24 to make glasses. <laughs> to get a higher eye <laughs> level. <laughs> to just... <laughs> So you, wait, you're not all, you're not just using the market board either? Uh, I'm completely banning the use of anything I can purchase with Gil. I'm not allowed to purchase any Jesus items using Christ. Gil. Jesus Christ. I mean, how is it? I mean, you already, you already explained the process of just unlocking the second fucking dungeon. Yeah, so my goldsmith's 21, leatherworker 18, weaver 23, alchemist 24, yeah. miner 27, botanist 20. I see you, Zodiar. <laughs> My chat has agreed that I'm not allowed to uh, spam dungeons for gear, so. But that's you can do that solo though. Why? Would, I, I mean, okay. At the end of the day, because it's it's, I, it's 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 way funnier to have to craft everything. Right. Oh wait, so there's a term for that. Lineback says. Yeah, it's, Iron it's an Iron Man. It's um, it's a, it's a reference to um, an old RuneScape thing, where RuneScape would have like dedicated challenge runs, or just hmm. like restricting your account. I gotta tell you, like, uh, 14 Iron Man sounds pretty fucking miserable. It's, we're, we're it's interesting. I'll, last, I'll give last, it that. Last stream, I think it was the last stream or the stream before that, we are talking about, like, if I were to, if, if I had to compare 14 to other, like, solo Please adventures, me, I'd say, actually, 14's pretty bad about it. I think so 14 as a solo kind of game is kind of boring. You need the MMO element to make it work. My safety was never in doubt, father. For I had the Azure Dragon. Like for the slice of life quality, like like you know, the, the leisure activities and shit like that, like crafting, gathering, or like managing your house or the yeah. island sanctuary, stuff like that, that's fine. Uh but like combat and a sort of thing, raids, trials, the M the multiplayer element adds a lot to it. It does, but it playing it solo the actually even turns it more into like almost like a puzzle game. Right. Of um most unexpected. And just like how well do you actually know how the game works? Right. The it's fun having the thing like outside of the box. It, it also helps that I banned Warrior too. So. Right. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Because the answer is always Warrior. It would be too easy. Yeah. It's actually just fucking funny how unkillable Warrior becomes once they get wrong to it. It's as early as level twenty six when they get fucking Storm's Path. <laughs> yeah. What if the truth revealed to us by Hraesvelga? That the origins of the Dragon Song War, a core tenet of Vishgardian faith, are quite unlike those depicted in the scriptures. The Pope lied. That men and dragons once no, lived never. together in harmony. You told me a church and a chair RPG is bad. Shattered the peace and plunged our peoples into war. The same scripture also describes the origins of the High House. Just. I clicked off the screen for a second because I wanted to answer Jester Grump's question in the Twitch chat, but I accidentally skipped that line of dialogue. Now the playthrough is illegitimate. Now I won't know the lore. Uh, Jester Grump, in order to get access to the subject Discord, uh, you have to synchronize. If you're a Twitch sub, 
you have to synchronize your Twitch account with Discord and you gain automatic access to it because there's no invite link to uh, this Discord. It is an automated Discord. So it's either you become a $5, you become a Twitch sub, or you become a $5 and above patron over my Patreon. Uh, in Twitch, you have to synchronize your Twitch and Discord accounts. In Patreon, you have to synchronize your Patreon and Discord accounts. It's basically the same process. Uh, thank you, Sonia. Go. Alternatively, do both. Yeah. Continue to give more of your money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got it. Or a Prime sub, I say. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's Prime sub or whatever or not. It's a sub is a sub in Twitch. Yeah. You will be branded a heretic in Clapton Irons. Or do both and be cool. I'd rather you not one or the other. At least the Archbishop will have shown his true colors. No, John, you're not you're not My doing friends, the sub thing, right? Mm -hmm. will never truly be Listen, I do a lot of sponsors. I, I do a lot of sponsors. But I'm not that much of a whore. <laughs> not oh, yet. I am. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. We were united. But I subbed the both. But now we have none. Stop. <laughs> if I sub to both, does that mean we're friends yeah, now? Absolutely, we're, we're absolutely friends. Do you know what friends do for other friends? Give each other counter. Old order is called into question. <laughs> no, I'm sort of questioning this friendship. I was about to scratch my ass with the webcam right on me. Hell yeah, dude. That's in content. That, that's what the uh, the dual subbers get. <laughs> The, Fifteen dollars to get to see John scratch his ass. Hell yeah, oh, dude! Hell Finally, yeah. good content. Something, yeah. something key. That is something to walk into. <laughs> well, so you pretend like what you say time. isn't that much better. No, no. Well, it's, it's to be fair, fifteen dollars. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Would not pay fifteen dollars to watch someone scratch their ass. Fifteen dollars, you better scratch my ass. Depends on the person. Hey, drive. Would you would I... you scratch my ass for fifteen dollars? <laughs> Oh, sure, but I'm just helping a friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> just helping a brother out. I get it. Yeah, well, you'll know if you're a whore if you do Raid Shadow Legend sponsors. Absolutely right. Like, if if you ever see a Raid Shadow Legend sponsor on my main channel, you guys need to immediately follow up. Is, is he all right? I have one due later this month, and I took it because I'm fucking poor. I, I don't, if you got, I don't give a fuck if anybody else takes Raid Shadow Legend. I don't judge for it, as I personally don't want to touch it. If I ever got that sponsorship, I would run that joke into the fucking ground. Absolutely not, yeah. Even the Holy See cry heresy. <laughs> the the cure me, but it's twenty dollars and sucking dick. <laughs> if the Lord Commander does not return from the vault at the appointed hour, I mean to go. This in your former situation cleaner. At this point, I think he's just trying to rock it. <laughs> my lady. He's just trying to play it off. <laughs> Should they reach the wrong this video was brought to you by Raid. Oh, not the game, the bug spray. Or Ray Kill the person those here. Fucking roaches. <laughs> That's funny. You guys can give me like some like crazy ass fucking sponsor reads, and I'll put on the sponsor voice for it. Cause I I like no. to I, I put like on this this very reserved quiet voice when I'm doing sponsor reads because I think it it's better for the dry humor if I have any. Uh, but it's it's fun if like somebody absolutely just gives me something fucking nuts and nonsensical to read. What what with that voice? <laughs> All right, Blue Chew, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Raid sponsors are the emergency and financial crimson button. I don't know what that means. Hey guys, you ever wanted to chew gum and pop a boner? Then I have the product for you. <laughs> Blue chew. Wait, in that owner? <laughs> owner? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted by someone pitching a tent after chewing a gum. It's Blue Chew. Yeah, buy your yeah. copy today, or buy your piece today. Buy your copy today. Order at GameStop. Buy your copy today. <laughs> Pre-order at GameStop. Get the gum early. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah. targeted advertising there, Linky. All right, fine. What do you want me to have advertised? Give me some. That he rose to his current position despite being despised as a pre-o and accused of profiting. Yeah, I got some pre-o blue chew right here. You want some? It is my hope that on this occasion, the burden of his birth will work in his favor. Wait, are those all words that Clark fumbled on in like previous charity events? Rural, squirrel, choir, work in Shire, Colonel, and uh, Athemia. Epitome, I remember that one. Uh, asterisk, uh, Calvary, no, Cavalry. Ignom <laughs> Ignominios phenomena. Just wanted to fuck with the guy, Clark. <laughs> Portugal is still. So it's Portugal and Duck Tree <laughs> are my favorite two. Clarkisms. Yeah. A knight lives to serve, Father. To aid those in need. The people need Sir Emmerich more than ever. 
and we may be his only hope. There is no greater calling for a knight than to save the life of his fellow man. I swear to you, on the sigil of our house, that I shall do this and make you proud. Oh yeah, just because I think this uh, this is funny. The uh, hmm. the raid team that I'm uh, trying out for tomorrow. Yeah. I've gone from a team called Ain't No Way, and I'm now moving to, onto a team called Chicken Noodle Soup. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like so you're flabbergasted that you found a cup of soup. <laughs> like, Which coming off of Poggers is very, <laughs> very bizarre. Ain't no way. Chicken Noodle Soup. <laughs> they have it. I have decided I'm going full villain or kind of playing Black Mage on top. Do I still have the air horn on my sound? <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, I just got a flashback from last night <laughs> where we all yeah. went Black Mage. What the fuck did y'all do? We went Small black page. <laughs> In what? Uh, uh, P it, it was just a, it was a yeah, it was a it was a normal rate ended up being P twelve. Ah. Double wait, there's two. <laughs> Ill weather friends. I forgot. Do we go back to the Sea of Clouds before we do the vault? It's after. It's after, okay. Right, right, because we do the vault shit and then like fucking the Pope gets away. I was like, oh, nuts. You, you already know about fucking Bismarck. Yeah, we do know about Bismarck. We, we run into Bismarck way earlier than I remember. Yeah, he just kind of shows up yeah. and like, oh, okay, like, that's oh, that's shit, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'll fight you later. Back in the cloud. All right, you're about to meet the best character in 3.0. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Who are you about to meet? Oh, Hilda. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Have you been met Hilda at this point? No, we haven't met Hilda yet. No? No. Because uh. I, oh, definitely, I definitely would have mentioned it because Hilda is... Well, I don't know what it is. You what meet is her it? way earlier in the Machinist quest line. I'm right, which sure. I have not done with this character. You sure you don't meet her earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Context slide. The Pope gets away. <laughs> Fucker runs away like a Batman villain. It. This I is love, a Joker joke. I love the DSR alternate timeline. Really, he's getting away. Eh, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> the pressure won't be that bad. Surely he won't cause any problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honor. Oh lord, now we gotta do this because there are Aether currents here too. I forgot either Aether currents for Falcon's Nest or for the Sea of Clouds. Sea of Clouds. Oh. oh, I think you actually need to go back and just be like, hey, stop being stupid. <laughs> like, just <laughs> smack somebody off the head. Alright, is that the one guy who just hits on that one girl here? <laughs> who? Uh, the other son. Fuck. Uh, yeah, how little the narrows it down, man. So like, no, Linky's having the same issue I have. A lot of names are French, so I just forget how to fucking pronounce them. French because debuff. I am ignorant. <laughs> I'm just fucking stupid, man. <laughs> no, no, because <laughs> there was two sons that came from like the house horse font. Yeah, uh, the one that's basically stationed oh, here, the heads on the girl that's always here, and the one that's basically at the starting area. Right. Yeah, man's really went one for three. <laughs> There's three. Even the flowers would see you dead. Really? Yeah, because Archfont. Archfont was Archfond. the third guy. He had like two sons, and one of them that's was like bullshit. a dickhead. The other one was. Flirting. I thought, I thought we had three sons. Yeah, the, yeah. One, Hansen went one to three. Been thinking of making an alt unfortunate toy with a gray-haired VR boy named Bugs Bunny. You do what you want, Barter Wolf. I had a couple of friends who made another alt just for the stream series because they want to join alongside me uh, for these shenanigans. And it's like, yeah, it's your time, buddy. And I'm using the stream series to help me become a better healer. Yeah. <laughs> that cat's not coming over here, right? Don't let your dreams be, uh... Don't let your what, uh, dreams be dreams. What, uh, what healers are you practicing with mostly, Linky? Sage. Uh... And Astro. I... If, if you're learning how to heal, just play White Mage, dude. Yeah, but that's easy. <laughs> I'm white you're, If you're struggling, you go with easy. <laughs> you click holy until the thing's about to die, and you click benediction, you go back to holy. <laughs> Well, no, you gotta get some arrows here, there, there, here and there too. If you're higher level than Diaz, I like to personally dot all the ads before I start doing homeless. Man. Uh, I dodge like 
get to the centralized part of the pack, and I start yeah. mashing holy. Get a one here. shot the entire pack with fucking a flame's misery. All right, this thing because fucking the whether you get that drop item is RNG. <laughs> Good game design. <laughs> God, I hated those quests when this game, like when this patch came out or expansion came out. Which one? Because everybody would be doing the same right, thing. Right, right. So there were no, there were no Gale cats to kill. <laughs> just be faster. <laughs> yeah, you just oh. gotta kill the faster, idiot. God, and this is back when I had my old PC. They didn't have the graphics card, so everything chugged. <laughs> just use Ninja Mug. I've only ever gotten a random item from Mug as Ninja one time playing this game, and it was a yeah. Potion. That that shit's a fucking placebo. Yeah, it is. It it was, it was just a regular ass potion. It was, it was. I got it during a dungeon run as Ninja while leveling them up. I was surprised to actually get an item from Mug. It's like the odds of that happening are so astronomically low. Why is this even a thing? <laughs> Thanks. This is completely useless. <laughs> Okay, um, that looks good. I think that's the last Aether current we need for a while, so let's go back to the foundation. Is it almost time for Rizmark? No, we're not get, we're not fighting Bismarck for a while. No Rizzy. Yeah. We're playing DMC. Uh, Devil May Cry a couple of days ago in the Discord, like a little behind the scenes thing, and I was asking guys, was like, I want to, I want to play a gag with like the limbo text, you know, because it'll, it'll just randomly pop up different words for Dante while you're fighting, like die or, you know, he's here or some other shit. So it's like a bunch of Zoomer terms that you guys could suggest, and like the one that hung on to me the most, I think was from Santiago. He just said, "Nice cock." <laughs> uh, nice cock. So, <laughs> Oh, thank you. I, like, I thought this guy was bloodthirsty, but whatever. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. I, I, I did noise one second. Where is it here? Nice car. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Replay that clip. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Nice car. Perfect. <laughs> That perfect came before the pins were collapsed. <laughs> it's, it, it's, the, it's the Wii Bowling replay. No, no, I, you should have never told me that. Because now I would have assumed the announcer knew there was going to be a strike because they rigged the pins. <laughs> <laughs> There's a deeper story here. Is that how you play bowling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, by rigging you the game. To a money match I am <laughs> garbage at bowling, by the way. Uh, this past TMG... Uh, we went to Arnold's Family Fun Center. It's this place r r literally right across the street from the Expo Center because they were having a party there. And we it was like it was me, it was Elliot, it was my uncle, my brother Mark. And they had Cosmic Bowl in there. And I haven't gone bowling in years. So I figured, yeah, let's let's play a couple of games. And then I found out, oh, wait, I realized why I stopped playing bowling because I am absolute shit at it. And also I, my thumbs hurt and I clipped my fucking thumbnail. Oof. What's that? You're not supposed to throw the bowling ball backwards no. and watch all the people. <laughs> yeah, and one of the <laughs> <laughs> Damn, chat just threw out the skill issue <laughs> and bam. Ain't no fucking way you got skill issued. Oh wait, shit! I forgot to examine the clan board. Yo, who, who's on the who's on the hit list today? Uh, good question, actually. Hey, uh, Soul Warrior Two Five Two, thank you for the raid party of one. Hope you were enjoying whatever you're streaming. What does it say? Mario of the North Star. All right, so it's Fist of the North Star reference, but it's with Mario instead. Who is Mario killing? Luigi. Fuck that guy. Fuck me. I hate to see it. I have a better financial year. Oh, uh, these are level one clan markers. So I think these are just like regular enemies. Yeah, they're just kind of guys. Yeah, they're just dudes. They're just chilling. They're marked for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> On some later expansions are actually pretty good just for the last second caps. Yeah. But. Uh, hunts, when expansions released and I'm leveling characters up, is like the only time I do hunts, actually. Outside of hunt trains. Like, I hunt need, trains I, I will do religiously because I need the, I need the uh, clusters. And I like the nuts, too, especially if I'm trying to get, like, a new expansion's mount. 
I need to join like a, a hunt link shell at some point because yeah. I'm, I'm in like a, a Discord for it and that shit does not help. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of one hunt link shell and it's basically all I need. It's the one by Jassy Puppet Master. Uh, that's the name they go by. I think they want, they're the ones that run it and it's nice. So like, Because to me, the thing that kind of drives me nuts and listen, I know we all have our means of communication and playing the game. So who am I to say eh, to that? But I personally hate it when I'm invited to a link shell for a specific purpose, and most of it is just used for general chat. I was like, guys, free companies are for that. Like, yeah. like don't hog up the hunt link shell with back and forth over some banal shit. Uh, hey guys, hunt starting. Come to doll. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start the train. <laughs> By the way, my favorite part of DMC recording last night was when John uh, realized what was the abortion scene during it and had the same energy as Gus from Breaking Bad, realizing Hector was setting up a bottom to his price list. Yeah, I didn't scream like that, but <laughs> what? it was kind of, I'm not giving you context for that. I don't think I need context. I think I got everything I needed yeah, from that. Yeah. I'm so confused, but I guess I'll wait to review. If I'm gonna show that scene up, I might have to like fucking grayscale it. Cause these games are violent. Oh, you're down here. The broom. God. Rat. Wait, do you not? Do you have Dark Knight already unlocked? No, I'm not unlocking Dark Knight with Romani. Uh, my tank with Romani. Oh cool. right, yeah, because the quest spawned somewhere else. I I thought there was a corpse there for a second. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> Never mind, it's just a normal cro corpse, guys. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> no, if there's a corpse in the middle of town, surely that isn't important. Absolutely disgusting. And a large story right next to him. Hmm. Yeah, whatever, just kicks it off. <laughs> Cast into the void. Whoever said that dude from a little from was Senator Armstrong, I hate that I can't unsee that now. Yeah, one of my uh, one of my Discord patrons. Identified him as an Alolan or uh, Senator Armstrong, and it like that's fuck pretty me, fucking, dude. That's, that, that's, that's pretty fucking funny. That's perfect. I think my favorite part about Foundation is just running around and immediately getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> Make a left turn, suddenly you're in Arkansas. Like, what the fuck? Where was I? Yeah, I fucking take a left turn and end up in Alamigo, bro. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Help! I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking worm tail starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did I just run past Alpha No not realizing it? Uh, yes. Welcome to the welcome yeah. to the broom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there he is. Was that guy shirtless? <laughs> a link show I'm in is asking for people for E8S synced, and I'm wondering if I'm insane enough to accept it. Okay, that's do a it. base request, so. A link yeah, do show? it. Hmm. I, I would say, yeah, do it. Gary's to start watching people bitch about Light Rampant again, by the mm. way. I'm so excited. I'm really, like, oh. I think, what was, what was it you that said it? That you're hoping that the Blue Mage uh, achievement title is Blue Rampant. No, that wasn't like me, that, but like um, that—that—that's pretty, pretty good. No. I doubt it, but <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to watch everyone bitch about Light Rampant again. Yeah. Just be better. Yeah, just right. absolutely be better. Or, or, do fucking here we go. Return of the Elias track. Let's go. <laughs> unironically, <laughs> unironically, the way people are going to assign it is going to be Congo Line. Oh. It's going to be so funny. Oh boy. Well, to be fair, you could basically use like that impenetrable shield thing to kind of involve in everything, right? When you're at level eighty, you're you're just gonna get one. You're shot. gonna die you, because you'll get you'll you'll not only take the damage, but you'll also get the magic bone. That magic bone will guarantee <laughs> that. You yeah, yeah, that would do it. I forgot they changed the uh, magic barrier. Now it's just like, oh yeah, if you basically get hit by all this, you're fucking dead. I was uh, I was rewatching one of our, one of the earlier clears we did of uh, of eight. Mm. I was like, that fight fucking hurt. Yes, it does. <laughs> There's a yeah. screenshot of a uh, of a Mornafod dealing over a hundred thousand damage. Dude, the fucking the double knockback mirrors with the it's so it fucking hits hard. hard for no fucking reason. <laughs> Is that the one where you basically get uh, tank has to be in the front and they get pushed yeah, through the, 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 the left, and, and everyone yes. has to be 
on point Dog. with their arm's length or sure cast uh, button presses. I, I rock that. That should be easy on the loot. Mitch is just going to dive him back in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is, that is bringing back some memories I don't want to bring back. <laughs> I could, you know what? Like, maybe with a couple of exceptions from one or two mechanics, I think I could still comfortably do that fight, like from memory. We did that fight a fucking lot. Yes, we did. We did that fight a lot. I still have one of my, it's, I think it's unironically one of my favorite fights in the game. I think it's probably my favorite Savage. It's, it's uh, easily a top contender for just eating entirely. What do you think beats it out besides like uh, all I really, eleven exactly? I really like I really like Leviathan. <laughs> oh, Leviathan's really good as well. Yeah. I just think it takes so long to really get going, in my opinion. True so once enough. you get to like once you once you get to like um, Stormy Horizon, Stormy Horizon really good, yeah. but uh, until Stormy Horizon, I'm actually fucking asleep. <laughs> uh, Titan is okay, linebacker. I just I don't. The problem like is the, that I after. Like the, after the first three minutes, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's like, just basically. Ironically, <laughs> is like when he becomes big, it it, it it becomes a less interesting fight. I like the end part where he like summons his son from his chest, but <laughs> yeah, he starts spamming rage. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the college, right? <laughs> but uh, uh, when he when he come, when he when he becomes giant, like no doubt, I love the fact that he even gets that big because like yeah, that's the Titan I know. Uh, but after that, it's just because like his size is ultimately a detriment because mechanically it's not that interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I will say, Blue Mage can get the car. <laughs> Blue Mage can get the car. Yes, and that'd be so fucking funny. I can't like, wait. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited that fucking six point four five is this Tuesday. I can't wait. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a jump scare thing. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, it's here. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, new <laughs> Manderville. Let's go. Yeah, I was like I'm doing Manderville first, and I'm gonna do Criterion Dungeon. Um, I'm so excited to get mad about us being teased by fucking Blitzball again. <laughs> All right, Ray, Ready let's it, do man. it. Blue I'm Rage group, let's fan, do it. I'm telling you, fucking Fan Fest is two weeks away. They got that oh. new. They got that new Las Vegas. They, stone. they do have the ball. They got the Las Vegas Stone now. They can announce Blitzball 14 in the most it's epic okay. way possible. In the most I, I, epic I, I, I way already, possible. I've already been telling Edith this. If they announce like Blitzballer as a job, I'm instantly switching the fucking Fizz range. Like, there's <laughs> frame one. You put that, <laughs> finally, the gun I can put away. I don't want to play with magic anymore. I only <laughs> wish to ball. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm balling. I wonder oh my what God. they're going to do for the 16-14 crossover. They almost, they almost certainly going to kill. I, I was, those are my favorite memes. It's like head, per, <laughs> like head director of the game. He's just contact with the other producer of this game, and it's just your sheet of talking to himself. Yeah, they're just running back and forth <laughs> on the fucking desk. Um, but in terms, of, uh, in terms of the content, well, obviously, like, they're going to somehow or some way bring in Clive, right? They're probably just going to do the 15 thing, only it's going to be like yeah. with like different icons and shit. The issue is, is like, they, I think the more interesting thing is, like, what are we going to fight? Sex, <laughs> sex, sex scenes. Yeah, <laughs> Titan and Shiva are going to fucking. <laughs> well, not Shiva, but still. Uh, Garuda. No! Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> Which is fucked up because in Pokemon that that bird is dead <laughs> because birds are weak to rock. But uh, still. No, it'll be Titan and Garuda. Yeah. God, <laughs> you fucking do it on fucking screen. I'm like, oh god, I get so the stream. I'm so excited for them to just put Uwu in the game again, but this time it's 16 flavored. <laughs> it's perfect, Alexander. Let's go. Best boss of the year. Yep, every year. Every year. Oddly enough, there is a chance that we might get a primal that's not in 16 and 14 because it's technically called Lost Leviathan. Oh, I mean that's Leviathan though. A Leviathan is a Leviathan. One's got two heads. One is got Phoenix one head. a boss in fourteen? Yes, multiple times at that actually. Now the motherfucker's so good he did it twice. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 twice. Yeah, Phoenix and then Phoenix. And Phoenix. And Vo well, I mean, no, I think I think it's supposed to be pretty. I, th I think it's pronounced Phoenix, but yeah. to avoid but confusion, that bitch, that, that bitch Phoenix. We just call it. No, 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 no. There's Phoenix. There's horny Phoenix, and then there's dark Phoenix. What's horny? Oh, Suzaku. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And look, I'm saying, man, for Lord Ultimate, this isn't copium. It's gonna happen. <laughs> God, was that your fucking that niece? Was my, yeah, that was my knees. No, Lothos don't have knees. At least I don't think we do. Yeah, well, does anyone have the uh, the current Lothos knee status lore? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
See what I'm monkeying with you. this class, and I and I'm telling like these goons, you just lost your knee privileges. That is in doubt. That is in fact a coping mechanism for a Lalafell's lack of knees. Provide me to never go monk in yeah. front of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How's it going, Nodler? Thank like you for the tier one. Uh, do you like playing as falafels? No, I do not. Uh, Lalafell is my favorite race uh, of the game. Uh, you feel so next fast. To, uh, no, like legit, like mechanically speaking, no regrets because my hitbox is small. That means I can do precise positioning much easier than I can do with any other character in the any other race in the game. My second favorite though is uh, Femro. Big, big. I still think one of the funniest things ever done was the first time I uh, I Fantasia with Lala fell. I nearly ran off the edge in fucking Leviathan because I was not used to how fast you <laughs> I'm feel. I'm on the edge! Like, you just run so fucking fast. <laughs> I just see him every time you walk past so I'm like, I just want to say something. <laughs> <laughs> A stick. Wine. Why are you giving me this wine? <laughs> I'm trying to soften you up. That Funny enough, lack of knees is an old joke in eleven. Really? Uh, oh, uh, because Tataru's. Uh, no, not Tataru's. Um, Taru Taru's. That was the, that was the name of the uh, small race. Did they not have knees either? Yes. I'm actually debating on what race I'm going to play in 11 when I get to it for my eventual video. Yeah, I'm tackling 11 uh, for like a versus video because I'm not going to skip over 11 just because it's an MMO. You know, it's a mainline title. I want to play it. I'm only going to play the basics, the base game, though. I'm not going to play any other expansion because I already put more than enough time into this fucking game. What races are there in the game? I know there's like a there's, normal dude. There's normal dude. There's cat dude. There's orc dude. There's dwarf dude. Uh, is there an elf equivalent? There's elf dude. Okay. And what else? I think that might be it. Uh, Hume, um, Elvan, um, Tarotaru, uh, Taru Taru, Mithra, which is the cat people, and Galka. I'm assuming Galka is the Rogadans. Yeah, but I don't think there is a mill uh, Mithra, is there? Yeah. <laughs> I oh, think Mithra it's only, <laughs> are Mithras only girls? Yep. Oh, interesting. No Femros in uh, 11 either. Interesting. That sounds like it's a fucking sausage fest in here. I mean, I like sausage, but, you know, it's a balancing act. I don't know what I'll pick. <laughs> I think I just may be yeah. like the uh, the meteor <laughs> of the group game. What's up? I miss FF11. Galka reincarnate whenever they die. Oh, cool. You know, I do too. See, when I die, there's a button that says return. Uh, <laughs> I vanish for a second, then I come back. I go to Limsa, yeah, and then Limsa I'm right back. Die. They respawn. <laughs> hey, Sigurd. <laughs> <laughs> he's off being edgy or whatever yeah, yeah. off being a bad dad what's this plot in the story you'll find out if you play the game never yeah with her mind because we're not we're yeah, not never. leveling dark knight uh he's just a really bad dad who hates who's racist towards moogles <laughs> that's the tld okay. yeah i said it yeah ain't no way you're a moogle hater by the I way, forgot, I was I, like, I, we're I, looking for Hilda, and they 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 cat like they they sort of like low key just call her a mongrel, uh, and what they mean by that is that she's half breed. Uh, she is a human, uh, Elizen. Like she is half human, half Elizen. It's like one of the only times in the game, like MSQ or otherwise, time. we have a we have a crossbreed. I'll tell and, you why it's the only time they've done it. Why? It's because Yoshi has gone on record saying that, that making Hilda was a fucking mistake. Oh, because <laughs> because yeah, she she is a unique model, uh, as in her portions and like her ears are a giveaway too. 
Yeah. Like, she looks like a hero, but she has Ella's and ears. And people have not shut the fuck up about it. I mean, to be fair, it is a very fascinating thing to introduce. It's crossbreeding. You know? And then, I, like, I mean, I, I, would, I would like more crossbreeds, too. You know, I want to see how fucking crazy it gets. Hell, my uh, my character Joan is a crossbreed technically, like uh, in can like in the lore wise. I think the issue would always end up being like what parts of which race do you take, right? Because like, if, if Lala fell mixed with anything, sorry, all right, what do we do? We take the height, or we not take the height? Well, <laughs> well I mean, you gotta yeah, that. That's kind of the, but that's like the biggest contention, right? It's like, all right, well, how Lala fell? It's Lala fell is like probably the main yeah, issue. Yeah, I think Lala fell is probably the main issue because I was thinking about that. I was like, all right, cool. cool. It, <laughs> The, the child has to be Lalafell. <laughs> uh, but, uh... The, you yeah, go Pokemon logic and just take the race of the mother. Yeah. I uh, yes, a lizard Lalafell. Didn't they retcon the Lord later to say the child will always be the mother's race? Yeah, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> oh, if that's, if that's been confirmed to be Pokemon logic. We'll yeah, take yeah. It. It's like, headcanon-wise, Joan takes after... Oh, God! Her. Joan <laughs> takes after her dad. Of all the portraits, why that? <laughs> because they know what's coming up, dude. <laughs> Curious. I'm very intelligent. Dude, I gotta go back to the fucking broom. Actually, <laughs> just go down the stairs. Just elusive jump. An Aura Ooh. slash Hrothgar? Dude, I love to see that. What if it's just Ifrit? I love 16. Yeah. <laughs> I recognize the cannon, but given that it's boring as shit, I choose to ignore it. I substitute it. my own. <laughs> I, now, the fact where that is it the no sense. I'm opting to ignore it and just mm -hmm. replace it with whatever the fuck I have written, which also doesn't make sense, but it makes sense in my head, so we're gonna go with it. I just want a wolf, wolf race for 14. Well, it's funny because Lupins, we, we have wolf Lupins, race. Lupins are a thing, like starting in Stormblood, but they're not playable. Man. And Zach spends every day punching the wall over it. <laughs> yeah, because to be no, 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 no. Uh, to be fair, uh, the Alras were supposed to be wolf people. Originally, no, in con dude, you ever seen like the what original they? like Alras? They're supposed to be like demon people. They're supposed like, to be yeah. They're supposed to be like demons. So, yeah, they're they're more demon esque than what we eventually got. And for the record, I'm of the camp that thinks the current Alra designs is cowardly as shit. Uh, yeah, so because you want a like, dragon if, lady, I'm saying so. if you if you want to if you if you're gonna tell me someone is like it's like descended from dragons but they're like humanoid, just make them fucking beastly as shit, man. Don't give them humanoid faces. Come on, that's so cowardly. Yeah, it needs more scales, for God's sakes. I want them to become a big old dragon. So if someone's chasing her, yeah, I forgot someone's chasing her. Yeah, she got in trouble with law enforcement again. Right, right. No, it's just uh, the fucking scoundrels. Yeah, All right, Johnny. Time to wipe a bitch. <laughs> so you basically prefer D and D Dragonborn? I'm assuming I don't play D and D. At least this time we're not gonna get a fucking grenade jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Where did this Boxes. wall come from? Where do you think you're going, Missy? I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. I remember this scene in Japanese specifically because she just goes full on wah 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 mode. Right where he told me about that. Yeah. Hold on, I've seen them around. They're in and out of House Four Tom's Manor all the time. I told you something. What was that? Ass. Sweet. Yeah, very moe, uh, Santiago. Like they definitely play up the cutesy elements with Totaro in the Japanese language. And then she becomes the mother of all fucking accounts. Yeah, uh, English <laughs> English Totaro is. I have no problem auditing your bank account. Come here, boy. I'll give you cause to yell. Uh, That's a good argument. However, I already have your credit card information. Leave threatening women and children to our betters. Oh boy. Don't have the nap. All right, and that's the entirety of your Twitch chat's horny now. So that's congratulations. <laughs> Get the bonks ready. This is Hilda. I love Hilda. I love everything about Hilda. Hilda is the reason why I picked up Machinist in the first place. Uh, when I played Heaven Sword, because I just loved her look, and she was just so fucking cool. And yeah, she's a half breed. She's half hero, 
which is just the basic human race in 14, and Elizabeth the elf race. You can tell because she has pointy ears. Heroes like yourself. So tell me, what have I done to deserve you? <laughs> Wife. <laughs> <laughs> The, the rival to white points. Yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough, I completely forgot all about her. <laughs> Hilda? How do you forget Hilda, man? To be fair, the story does forget about her. Like, after Heaven's Word. It's like, she just That's... stops mattering until, like, certain side quests and role quests. Like, honestly, I didn't know she was half-breed. I yeah. just thought she was just normal Ellison, and I'm like... No. Okay, yeah, you short. must be important. She's I nowhere guess near some... noodle enough. Yeah, quite literally. I was just like, yep, that's another yeah, character. Yeah, where's your part giraffe? <laughs> Friendship ended with Moonbreed and Hilda is my new best friend. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, if you want to get more out of her, you have to do the machine quest line in order to... Uh, is that because she is... Uh, quite oh, there's an instance here. So I hope your ping is below 100. <laughs> that's right, bar fight. All right, and also don't forget about cast timers. Uh, after this instance, though, I will be taking a break to get a drink, and then we will resume our Heaven's Word activities. Bar fight! Bar fight! <laughs> I'm lucky me. 100, 160 ping! How do you play any of these games on 160? God, I hated this part at launch. Really? I'm trying to remember what... I know we're gonna, I, I know we're gonna fight goons here, but it's uh, I'm trying to remember like what exactly did the fight entail. Wait, I I joined the game during 3.1's launch, um. So I think by the time I got to this point in the story, I was already level 60. Yeah, that sounds about right. My gear was probably dog shit, dude, because I had no idea how the fuck substats and item item level work back then. I'm so excited for Grinnell to show up again. I'm trying to remember what happened during this part when the expansion launched. Because I didn't really have an issue with this. Holy Sea has been hiding for centuries. Hey, what are they on about? Make it fun for me. Wrong amateur. Ah, leave him bloody bad. You know, the, the savage version of that fight fucks me up because he says that during the donut, like Dynamo and Chariot stuff, <laughs> and it just catches me off guard. Make it fun for me. It starts fucking spinning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, you throw, spin me right round, baby, right round. That was a weird fucking voice to win for that guy. <laughs> I I can't play that fucking fight in English, dude. I can do. I I play it in English because I like the mage's voice. I think, I, it's, I think, it's because of the mage I can't play it in English. Yeah. Uh, really? It's, it's so raspy. I love the raspiness. I, I, it, it's legitimately kind of irritating. Yeah, a while. I, I, I love I love the raspy, confident delivery of the English mage in that fight. You know, I listened to the Japanese dub too, and it's okay, but it's it's a little too vanilla for me. But what's this got to do with me? I will say in English when when they get to the Chimera phase, it's pretty fucking yeah. raw. I love the uh, well because I, I, I love how raw she delivers her lines, and in Savage is even better because they give her the thunder spell too. Uh, and like when no, it, oh, you're oh, like no, oh, 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 like that sort of thing. I love that. Damn, you're the first <laughs> like, floor, Jesus, like, great, I'm gonna fall. Stop screaming at me. It's okay. It's just a thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now Fuck fall. This guy. <laughs> now, now fall. fall. Now fall. Now okay, fall. I'm falling. Oh, this is oh, a bad she idea. Right. <laughs> Memory oh, yeah, of a god. Here, yeah. Oh shit! PlayStation. Oh, and, and, the circle. And, and, and the night of the round tables <laughs> boombox guy is handing behind him, just playing the song out loud. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you got some chocolate on your lips, dude. Wipe that off. <laughs> It looks like he has chocolate on his lips. Yeah, no, he, he definitely got some weird ass <laughs> lipstick going on Fuck right it, now. Flick your lips, you motherfucker. You got <laughs> shit on it. Mm, I know. It was very shiny lips. I can you're, see you're, my, I can you're, see you're my reflection. Chap. You're, your lips, chap. Don't lick them now. Chish, chap, let's have an ass. <laughs> it must be burnt out ere the infection takes hold. You're an asshole. 
Oh yeah, this is the this is the Giga Man whore. He isn't he isn't the imposter, but he's the Giga Man whore. The Giga Man whore. I've got irons of my own. God, I just. What you're doing being in a dress, bro? What do you mean by that? Oh, that's cheating. He has protect. That's been patched out. That's not available anymore. Oh no, he's beyond the death wall. You have to kill the other two guys. Oh shit, you're right. Such simple creatures. I just want to do DSR and beat this guy again. <laughs> all right, Ray, let's go. <laughs> I love DSR. I just want to get to this fight, this part of the fight. And I'm like, all right, I'm done. Don't need to do anything else. <laughs> he learns He's the first phase. Right. Absolutely right. I just need to get through phase one. That's all I need right now. The phase is literally two Gotta minutes. Climb these stairs and beat his ass. <laughs> That's the fucking thing. That boy got goons. <laughs> You also just don't give a fuck. I just love how he just read straight like, towards oh, the healer. Okay. And they're like, oh, okay. Of course, oh, fuck. He knows. <laughs> the jig is up. <laughs> Rattle him, boys. Rattle him, boys. Boom, boys. <laughs> I honestly don't remember this. <laughs> it comes here. Well, this is how you get some of his voice clips without the filter, because he's human here. So, uh, what's your, uh, pure apart order here? Oh, um... Fuck no. Uh oh. <laughs> Spray oh, <no>. and gray. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. Yeah. <laughs> I love PS. Oh my god, right, 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 right. If yeah. that if that class you mentioned was ever introduced. Hang on, I gotta find this image. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, it's gonna it's gonna dawn on me now. I need to find it. <laughs> Oh, this is where uh, Alphano. He has like super powerful. Cool, right? Yeah, something like yeah, something like that. Also, these burns are bullshit. They're supposed to one hit you. Yeah. <laughs> also, this is like I think just the uh, the Bard's former fire arrow AOE. Wait, hold on. Can you get behind the the far one? We need to make a dick and balls. Oh, can we? Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. Let's fucking go! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this must be for a small jump. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ravati, what are you doing? And then he just looks like, like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No, it's ruined. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's across now. It's, now he's got he, a tuber. <laughs> yo, shout out to my boy JC. <laughs> he's surrounding us all that place, I can't. Actually, maybe activate the blood bath to just negate the dodge. Wait, when did Horseform get here? No, stop that. <laughs> I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the heels? I'm coming, all right? Shut up. <laughs> Cassie hold, it, hold his hollow and get his ass. <laughs> wow, oh, I did the cock fire and everything. <laughs> That's supposed to be my super move. <laughs> Wait a minute, Hilda, you have a gun. Just fucking shoot him. You're right. Oh, here you go, Ray. Every time you basically wipe every time with the new. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much fucking wee ball I got left in me. How's it going, Andrew Sketch? No, we're um, we're getting through some developments here in Heaven's Word. We're close to unlocking the Vault Dungeon. Jump slash! I don't know why people you sleep forget on the target. Lucio, by the way. <laughs> also, wait, she's trying to use plunge on Paladin, fucking yeah. idiot. There you go, a gun! <laughs> and miss! Oh, oh wait, I had, hold on, I have that sound clip too weird. Fuck is it? Nay, tis we who are lucky. Had we fought on the matter of <laughs> there time you before our <laughs> Thank you. the life of an innocent bystander. Uh, I put down the soundboard specifically for my tanks and ten when they miss the platform. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought the Heaven's Ward might come here as well. So is the Heaven's Ward just literally <laughs> casting war on Iskart? What the fuck? What? Hi, Linky. Welcome to the call. <laughs> we'll try that again. <laughs> uh, no. I, uh, just, I'm just gonna... Heaven's Ward had been granted full abort. <laughs> Pull the lever, please. Coward. <laughs> end it. End it now. Hilda, please use the gun <laughs> right now. 
in game, in game. Yeah, we've taken care of Nidhogg, but the tensions between the, the dragon kind and the Holy See are still there because the Holy See are bastards. Yeah, you know, they don't go a fuck. Told me the, you told me the church and the JRPG were the bad guys? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were expected. Yeah, at least we don't have to deal with the super pope. I take it you're in charge around here. We only have to deal with the regular pope. <laughs> Why is it always the Pope? <laughs> and yes, the young master was just persuading me to join. The, the church, church is bad because they, they won't let you fuck dragons. <laughs> Crowd just erupts into into cheers. I, your passion moves me, a bit. That. And, and I got a, I got to shot a uh, holy Texas. guy, so I guess I'm, I guess it works. <laughs> yeah, it's a holy guy. <laughs> It's not a priest, not a pastor. It's holy just the guy. holy guy. It's <laughs> in his name tag. To be honest, you gotta really work on your wildfire window. That was ass. <laughs> yeah, I only watch counted two GCDs yeah. Yeah, for a wildfire. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> two? <laughs> two? You know, you have a button that gives you five. No way to reach their fucking tooltips. Mm-hmm. Option man, but it's holy man. <laughs> <laughs> man, the SpongeBob movie got real weird. Oh, holy man! Uh, who's the pope of the SpongeBob six. movie? Who's the what? Who's the pope, pope of the SpongeBob movie? Probably David yeah. Hasselhoff. No, 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 no! It's Plankton. <laughs> oh, it? Correct answer. Okay. <laughs> Fucking David <laughs> Hasselhoff. David you know, Hasselhoff. I'll, I'll give the Hoff that role. Yeah. Like, when the fuck did Spongebob fight the Pope? Clearly you don't play a lot of JRPGs. <laughs> Is that Big Yoshi? Hey, shout out Big Yoshi. The real one. Yo, shout out to him. And his HD remaster. It's coming out soon. <laughs> this generation is not ready for Big Yoshi. No, they deserve it now. <laughs> Still can't wait for that uh, game to be remixed. Oh, what was that, Trump? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm the liberal. <laughs> okay. Actually, John, there's a video of SpongeBob doing Final Fantasy XIV MSQ, and Patrick does beat up the Pope. No, I disagree with AI on a lot of things. Sometimes <laughs> we putting out some bangers. <laughs> God, now my lips are dry. <laughs> Too late to lick them now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking chocolate lips, fucking Pope guy. Got uh, my lips dry. We are approaching the vault. Uh, we're not going to unlock it just yet. Uh, it'll be after like the next major cutscene, I believe. Uh, uh, I think you. I think no. I think you just go up there. Do we and just, just like hey, open up? No? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. With the jazz one, nice. Um, but uh, before we start this quest, I am going to break here though. I got to take a piss and I got to get a drink. Pissing way? Uh, not yet. Hi. See you I and your boyfriend are enjoying no way, the sights. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, the vault is just here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like I said, yeah, over right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, get up, stretch, piss, uh, and get a drink. I'll be right back in a few. Comms are still hot, by the way. All right, so actually, you know what I should be doing? Let me upset the uh, thing so that it plays music even when it's off screen. Hmm. Why aren't you white mage? Slash point white. There you go. There you go. See, now practice hitting holy. All right, good. Now do it again. All right, good. Now do it again. Okay, now do it again. Now have presence of mind and then click holy. You see? Top, literally optimal white mage gameplay. There, there. you see? Now you know how to heal. I'm so proud of you. I'm taking this crystal off my hotbar. <laughs> you see? Look, look around you, one. everyone. This is optimal white mage gameplay. Just keep hitting that fucking holy button. <laughs> 
Was that a fucking regen? No, click. Keep, keep clicking holy. Did I click regen? I'm click. I'm taking the shit off. I'm, I'm clicking it off. Keep who, who the fuck put regen on you? I'm, motherfucker, your parse is dying. Keep clicking it. Oh, thank God we've got on break. I fell asleep. Did you really? Yes. Good night, Jason. I was night. very tired. Holy is healing because the, the enemies can't do anything while they're stunned. And I conked out as soon as the Vore Dragons were gone. Huh? You yeah, should play 14. I, this game's really good, I think. I'm too busy playing, like, a Soup Boy, okay? Leave me alone. Yeah, like, instead of, uh... I'm sorry, someone I realized that if you don't get that I say Soup a lot, that, that would sound mean. I was making a junk. It's okay, whenever... Trav? Trav? What? <laughs> when a daddy dragon and a, a a mommy human love each other very much, the mommy human gets bored. True. No. Uh. I hope everyone's man is doing good. It was remember hitting lucid dreaming on cooldown. <laughs> As you keep clicking that fucking holy button. <laughs> Hole. Then you click ass size every once in a while to also regen MP and also deal damage as opposed to heal people too by accident. Pew. I love how I just gave up. <laughs> I better not see a single fucking support of GCD here. <laughs> this is how Ray trains people. <laughs> is that a fucking GCD? Is that a fucking regen? Who the fuck put this? Is that a weed? The only healing GCD I better see is the fucking ones they use lilies for. Because that does damage. Alright, here, here, have a bell. Oh, wait, you can exit this manually now? Huh. Yeah, it, it caches out all the stacks for you. It, oh, okay. uh, like, it ran out, man. You just, you just turned it off for you cache all of it immediately. It Why comes would you up every that? once in a while. <laughs> well, I'm, oh, trying to, I'm trying to think of a use. What is that? I'm always asking Linky this. Yeah. Yeah. Was I able to recover and all? Are you, if you're meaning from the hospital, I mean, I felt relatively fine in the hospital. They're just like, bruh, you, your blood pressure is gonna like kill you. <laughs> you could have a heart attack at any moment. I'm like, oh, right. hell yeah, yeah dude, let's sucks. go. <laughs> all right, I'm about to piss off Ray. Um, that one comes up occasionally. Uh, although if you use a different spell, Edotho will, like, spawn in this Discord and fucking chokeslam you. That is fair. That is completely fair. I actually oh yeah, by the way, for all the, all the newbie white mages here, if you have Cure 1 in your bar, you deserve to be reported. Take it off. Okay. Sick crit on that, though. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay, keep trying. It's gonna, it's gonna pop up. I, I promise you, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Etha, I know what you're looking. I just want to crit. I just need, I just want to get that. I just want to get that free cure. I just want to get that free cure. Yeah, I still haven't gotten in, been able to get in touch with the hospital about the bill because uh, they still haven't sent me a bill. But my insurance sent me what could be the bill, and they're like, yeah, it could be like one hundred twenty-three thousand dollars. And like, then you oh, respond to them. That's, oh, just, that's, that's a house. <laughs> you, you respond to them. Oh, $123. Okay, that makes sense. And you just like white out the, the three extra zeros. <laughs> did, they, <laughs> did they fucking get rid of the free cure? <laughs> it's or it's, it's my 15%. Sh it's really useful. Anyways, keep holying. <laughs> you're, you're losing to the enrage. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> teach them how to play white mage. <laughs> keep holying. <laughs> We're talking about the horrors of the industrial, not the industrial, uh, the American keep healthcare holy. system. Apply oh, your three. And if Shit. I see one fucking GCD, <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what I was telling them. <laughs> They're getting it. All right, it is time to play the vault. Uh, where the fuck is Blue Dino at? I can't I see. I thought you turned <laughs> off effects. No, I turned off effects for uh, 
for I turned on effects for the cag pot and I left them on. I never turned them on. Uh oh, <laughs> wait, why uh, would you turn them on? Because for folks the... wanted to see that shit. I was like, yeah, I'm going to show you why we don't oh, do okay. this. That is fair. Uh, finishing wait, the fucking egg finish cuts. Okay, okay. So we're just going to wait on Blue Dino a bit. You know what? Uh, but I still Yo, need John, did you ever two see more that? people. Clear POV of top of somebody who had all the effects on for that shit. No, why you know would you do that? Because it Fuck, looked guys, cool. I hate when there's so many of you here because then I feel like I'm leaving someone. Yeah, up. but then I can do a back. yeah, leave. <laughs> Just fucking hit the bricks. See, you can. Leave. You see, look how cool his backflip is. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Easy. I'll invite you in that though because you're friends. Uh, but uh, we're not gonna unlock Bismarck tonight. I don't think. I think that's too far along. Um, I don't know. Pretty much immediately after, you're like, "I right, hold on. How do we get in the fucking as is?" Well? Yeah, we have to. We have. Yeah, we like, go. Yeah, you'll fuck up a whale. Yeah, yeah. Now, chat. The 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 funnier part is the fact that you know after I got out of that hospital for a couple days, you know, finally got a a doctor, and the doctor was just like, "Yeah, no, I don't know what the fuck they were doing. They were doing all this shit wrong. I wouldn't have done that." So let's start from scra scratch. Uh, out of the and then now we're almost two months in, and my blood pressure still is not under check. Bismarck says, uh, Edith says Bismarck is seven quests after this one. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, Ray, Blue Dino is going to be our tank. Uh, we don't. We, uh, we already got the extra spot for them. Oh, well, speaking of blood pressure, um, I think Google one? is trying to get rid of all of their Pixel watches because uh, I got an offer for one that was like. A hundred bucks. Is it inside of a stadia box? Uh, no, but they gave me one of those two for free way back. Uh, just yeah, like that's how I got YouTube the one I gave John. I just got one. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's how I, I got, I got John's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so like, you say that now, I don't feel so bad that we're putting dead weight on the top of the box. <laughs> that shit is still in its plastic, by the way. I never unboxed that shit. <laughs> Well, make sure to do it eventually because they're gonna get rid of that tool that allows you to make it a Bluetooth Wait, controller. Wait, they're gonna get rid of that tool? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? All right, I can't. No, no, keep, right. keep it wrapped. Keep it wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid that they're gonna get rid of that, but yeah. Come on, friendless update. Oh, this is so gross. I have fucking spell speed melded, so I crave death on Red Mage right now. Wait, why do you have sp Because I'm going Black Mage on top. Oh, okay. Uh, Blue Dino, did you already unlock the vault, or do you have to do the cutscene, or do you have to get the quest to do it now? Uh... You got her. Okay, so we can kill up now. Uh, we're gonna do... Trev, one level two. Hi. I posted it in general for you if you ever uh, need to get that done. Actually, no, we're not gonna do it all. Fuck this place. <laughs> right to you. Dungeon's fine, just you know, don't die for it. They, to be fair, the, the changes to the, the dungeon made it pretty good. Is it? Oh uh, yeah. Um, actually, I don't think I've been into the vault since the change. It's it makes sense now, kind Fuck, of. Fuck! I forgot the goddamn portrait again. Well, I also forgot. I portrait. keep forgetting that man. I also forgot I'm definitely going to reach level 60 in this dungeon, and I got gear ready for it just in case. So my HP is going to shoot right the fuck up. And I can't wait. This is going to be funny. All right, so welcome to the church. This is a pretty big fucking church. Welcome to Home Depot. <laughs> 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 Uh, this I just ends heard here. This ends here. Yeah. I just hear that opening note, and I'm like, "Yep, welcome <laughs> to the fucking vault." <laughs> the fucking vault? Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? You're telling me his name is Speaking Peggy the? Sausage <laughs> you're telling me his name is Peggy the pirate? Wonder what he does. No, Licky. It's welcome to emotional damage. Eh. <laughs> emotional damage. I bet I had emotional damage when I was leveling up some classes going through this dungeon over and over. Oh yeah, while well, we're all in here, let me just make sure everyone is uh, aware of our strategy. <laughs> Shut up. If people can't see it because <laughs> my chat's blocked. But uh, Larray just posted like a DSMR strat. A oh DS no, you're ch uh, DSMR, oh, yeah. what the fuck? DSR DSMR. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sons, DSMR, manufacturing surprise. Linky, do you know the Spanish word for church? El 
Church? L Church. L Church. <laughs> okay, cool. I didn't know. Yeah, Still, they I fucked it up. <laughs> I'm looking for a specific date, but so far Google's just been saying until the end of 2023. For uh, them leaving this firmware update. Uh, they saw the signs, but they said no, no, no. For nah, those nah. uninitiated, why is this place so hated? Uh, for me specifically, it's the Arm Vale of Heavensward, uh, where tanks just die because ads do so much damage, and tanks don't still don't know how to read their tooltips and do mitigation. That happens a lot. Uh, yeah. It's an MSQ dungeon, so it's like it's not like you can skip it. So, more often than not, because folks are still pretty new to the game when they get to this point, still don't know how to properly play their role. So, uh, especially as a healer, you're you're essentially pulling double duty. So, what you're just saying is that you're mad that there's a lot of children in this quest. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is, ironically, probably the dungeon where they start, like, to stop, they, they stop holding your hand yeah, as much. Yeah, they, they stop holding, it, especially by the final boss. The final boss... Uh, has mechanics that are, are you see them for the first time here, I believe, uh, and some of them just don't know exactly how to deal with it. That's bullshit. Dude. We had them at zero health. <laughs> Wait, chains? Chains? What are these chains for? Yeah. Oh god, what are the chains for? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stack with Bray over here. Is this <laughs> what I'm supposed to work? The hole. Oh, is the hole. No, that's okay. It's fine. It's, I'm Natalie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> silence. All right, where's the other guy? Yeah. There's a knockback. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going, uh, left. <laughs> we're waiting for Sorry, it to pass. Oh, yeah, he follows way. the same path, actually. I just realized. Only oh, it's much slower. <laughs> yeah, like I said, not, 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 not for nothing, though. Like, I really liked phase one of DSR. It's it's a really good phase. Yeah, to, like, I think, teach it, you I think it's probably my favorite phase one of all the ultimates so far. Living Liquid, I, I, still, I still really love Living Liquid. Living Liquid is still really good, though. But my favorite part of DSR? Living Liquid is the uh, is the uh, the limit cut jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What I'm gonna be. What's up? Gotta be honest with you guys. What's up? Trav, how many edibles have you had? <laughs> oh, I haven't had any. I took a I couple nibbles for Trav. last night. <laughs> So okay. Like, Wait, you I took maybe you did a total what? Of two milligrams. Two milligrams, man. Is that fucking is that edible? Me. Is that right. edibles so or got... melatonin? Eldibles. Okay. Uh, El eldibles? eldibles. <laughs> ah, yeah. the, the Spanish Elder version. Thing. Yeah. Um, Eld eldibles so I, online. I started tracking my sleep and looking at my sleep thing. With right. The smartwatch. Um, and <laughs> so I, I've had it for like three nights now, and all those nights, you know, it looks as normal as I expect my sleep to be. Last night I took an edible before bed, and it was just like one whole hour of non-stop deep sleep. <laughs> Jesus, that's that's um, it's, uh, it's the sleep so, of kings, um, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm I'm sober. I'm playing um, I'm playing Gravity Circuit right now. Oh, okay. Speaking so, of Gravity Circuit, the lead composer for that game is also the lead composer for Mega Man X Corrupted. Mmm. That. <laughs> Oh, oh tell me more, you fucking amazing. shill. <laughs> uh, I keep trying no, to get my dad to try the game, but he's pretty done with the MMO scene. Man, like... Mega Man Corrupted? I, yeah. I can't... I, I, <laughs> folks just gotta find their love of 14 on their own if they even happen to enjoy it. You can't, from my experience, force it on folks. Yeah. You gotta let them. Yeah, you gotta let the, them the, play. As exciting as it might be to have a relative playing the game, because you know Elliot tried this game for a bit and he stopped after like level forty. Uh, my uncle played this game for a bit, uh, but it was the it was the fast trial. leveling that was driving him nuts because he'd have access to his kit on like on the overworld, but then he goes to dungeons and he sink down and he can't do half of the shit. That drove him nuts. That's fair. Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fair. Uh, so I think, like, it, as cool as it is to have, like, a friend or a family member play the game so, you know, you can have an activity together, they gotta find that love on their own. Mm, I'm too smooth brain for a game like this. I This game was made for smooth brains. Yeah, no, the, the game takes its time to lead you into its combat. Yeah. My brain is too wrinkly. I've, I've, had, I've tried to get two people into this game. 
this, I've told both of them the exact same thing. And the character creator, just get, just make a character that you can feel personally attached to. Take at your own pace. Yeah. I don't know what, what Trav said. That like that's like a Wario line in a Mario Land game. It's like <laughs> you lose Mario. <laughs> My brain is too wrinkly for you. <laughs> <laughs> Horse heads. Oh god, that disc White. quality. Woo. Oh yeah, because I also have battle effects turned on, so you guys are seeing all the particle effects. Or lack of. Mm, mm, it's so good. <laughs> that audio crunch, man. I <laughs> surely so there like... won't be any uh, exequates in this fight, right, Sir Grenovable? <laughs> so, <laughs> do I crank the resolution down by like a quarter and then put the frame rate in the teens and that's the PS3 version? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was like the final expansion before they said, you know what, fuck PlayStation. Yeah, this is the final expansion <laughs> for the PS3. Stormblood was PS4 uh, and PC only. And you could tell with the very final cuts. No, you, yeah. I, I guess where you were allowed, to, you did, you can do um, Stormblood on PS3. Because remember, um, all 11 s exploding PS3s. No, Stormblood was dropped for uh Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I uh, just think exploded PS4s then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exploded PS4s is probably more accurate. Hey, Alright, so uh, hot take for... Oh, you got it. No, Alex, man, thank you for the raid party. I want to push you to it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy my raid party. Uh, go ahead. I, uh... I blame Sir Grineau exactly for why Hogwarts is standing. What? I blame him exactly. <laughs> why? Because that fucking Exequake is fucking... Uh. <laughs> that one move tilted our team so fucking hard. I'm gonna go so back. I have to go back. I, I, I let me know when, bro. That's my favorite fight in the game. I've been blue balled, <laughs> and I, I hate having blue balls. I shouldn't be here because that tank buster quizzes everybody. Uh, blue Dino, if you can move him out of the fucking puddle, I can't get my positions. Yeah, I know. If we step in, that we explode. Yeah. Or you can step in. It's fine. Spirit pop a cooldown. I got true north at the very least, so it wasn't all bad. You didn't have uh, shit. Fuck off, Grano. God, I can't wait to be done with Pandemonium. I'm going straight into top. Giggity. Top what? Top. Oh. Um, this dungeon is the one I hate the absolute most. I've been traumatized by it. I had a run where uh, a tank drop didn't want to disband to try against South DPS. We wanted to push on that gear started breaking between the first and second bosses. Jesus Christ, it was like a domino effect of just shit happening. You know, once one person leaves, you're allowed to leave without punishment. Yeah, um, that's the way I look at it. Like, I give it five minutes to see if anybody, like, fills a role, and then if not, then yeah, I'll just leave. Because you won't get penalized for it if you're not the first one that leaves. Although, now every time I fucking boot up an alliance raid and it's Circus Tower, my, my, my eye immediately darts to the party. Let's see if yeah, like, who's, who's naked. Yeah, who's leaving? No, I'm wondering who's leaving. Does this game have an achievement system? Yes. It does. Yes. Yes. Was it added later? No. No. Was, it's so always was there from the start. Yes. Yeah. It was always there from the start. Why? I mean, not like not in-game achievements. I mean, like out of game. Oh, out like of game trophies. Achievements. Oh, yeah. It, yeah it has um trophies. Yes, trophies. trophies. Yeah, it does. The trophies are essentially the achievement system in the game. <laughs> Why? What's up? I don't know. I'm just having a fever dream. Mm. Feel like I, no, I demoed I this on PS3? You probably. But did. it's not showing in my trophy system, my trophy list. I will say that's the exact reason why I hope this game doesn't come to Xbox ever because then I have to fucking actually buy this game again so I can get all the achievements. Oh fuck that! No. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. You, you just load up the game. You just load it up like one time and you just hear ding, 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 because it's just. Ready, I mean, like, if I can get the you. free fucking 6K gamer score, I'll take it. But. <laughs> I wonder, does, like, fam. well, hold on, like, because there are some achievements that are just impossible to get now, given the MMO nature of it, I believe. Oh, exactly. It'd be stuff exactly diadem. Yeah. But I don't think any any achievement side to diadem. I wonder if I still have my diadem achievements. I don't have a, specifically, don't have any trophies tied to diadem. Yeah, well, How many achievements does this have? have this game has too many achievements. Yeah, Good and, it, you only, and it, only, it only gets more with each expansion. So, mm -hmm. like, if you're not on top of that achievement game, like from day one, you're never gonna finish this game completely. If it's even possible, I don't think it's possible. Yeah, that plus there are also seasonal events that are only 
like one time get use. Oh my gosh, Chocolate Lips himself. Oh my god, time of this 15 minutes? Oh no, Ray. <laughs> Hmm? I'm doing trials and time ellipse 12 minutes. <laughs> what the dark it's souls gonna be, it's gonna be of this Titania, motherfucker? Right? It's gonna be uh, Titania, you know, yeah. yeah it's uh, gonna be Titania. It is not. It is Hydaelyn. Oh, really? Oh, huh. I see. So it's almost a coward then, is what I was hearing. You die to is one Ockmore and you leave. Um, so the only thing I'll say, Blue Dino, uh, is if you get a... I don't think the, the main tank ever gets targeted for Holy Chain. Nope. Um, but just in case, if you get uh, a chain... You break it by running far away from the person you're chained to. Uh, if you do not, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not DSR. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you end up getting chained to somebody, run far away from the person you're chained to to break the chain. If you do not, you will take constant damage and get vuln marks until you break it. See, you also put down a pattern of lights. Uh, you immediately said, I understood that reference, and I'm yeah. like, Coach, I don't know the playbook. <laughs> Coach, I can't read. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, I did a countdown and Blue Donna pulls before I the countdown. It, yeah. bro. It pulls before the countdown reaches zero. Power play. Let's see, where, let's see where they go with this. Like, yeah, no, you guys get too many strategies and all this shit. Well, uh, I mean, to, to be fair, the, the, the meme stats we're doing now are like super high end that no average player is going to ever Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Holy There we go. Ultimate Raider, by the way. I was distracted by the fucking way marks. <laughs> and now the final Alright, can I get the funny thing? I sure can. <laughs> I didn't realize we're at Death of the Heavens already. Yeah, he's not even in the DSR mark. Yeah. They'd be at the fucking edges. Or in the fucking other laser pattern. Wait, did you just mainly put that shit down? Or you just like, eh? Oh yeah, I mainly put that shit down with the yeah. main. Oh my god. <laughs> Stay committed to the bit, bro. Up the god, no, I just, thank you. I just look at that and I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going back into prod for P12S. <laughs> uh, I'm at limit cut and it's so fun. <laughs> it's a very fun mechanic. It's just very stressful. Sickness must be purged. No. Dark Zodiar, are you talking about the lady with the leather? The lady with the leather. Do you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> Hilda is who they're saying. Oh, Hilda? Okay. Oh, Hilda is the girl that we were talking to in the previous cutscenes. Uh, so Tifa, with a, po Tifa with a ponytail and pointy ears. Yeah, I like briefly woke up and I'm like, that's a nice ass, and then cocked back out. <laughs> Yo, congratulations! Just one Put second. your gear on. Yeah. Also, I like both of those backflipping. I'm just like, how do you do fellow melee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! About to wipe that smile off your fucking face, Ravati. I'm so sorry. Surely Make nothing bad will monster. happen after clearing the vault. Yeah. Grow! Oh, Aditha got the triple triad. Yeah, so Aditha is currently in the triple triad grind. Uh, I told him to start doing this years, years ago. He is trying to get jam on toast. I wish you the best of luck, Aditha, because that shit is a grind. Jam on toast. Jam on toast. The giant triple triad card. All right, hold on. Okay, I'm not going to change into my new clothes just yet. So, Why is sure? Sonic Fan 5340 in the general BC by yeah, themselves? I I am leaving the, the 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 vault for the first time. Surely nothing bad will happen. Her power. Fuck you and your dry lips, dude. <laughs> I can't get Surely over the you. imposter won't appear. Hold back. Found out their profile pictures. What are you doing? <laughs> get over here. Their profile pictures, them hugging Doug Walker. I'm going to immediately start judging them <laughs> from <laughs> this point Come on. forward. Oh. Did you see that uh, post like a long ass time ago when DSR first came out where they modded uh, Thornton to look like a fucking uh, Among Us bean? <laughs> no. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> the best part was about that mod was the fucking actual Among Us Twitter account responded to it and asked what, uh, which member of the Heavens Ward is sus. <laughs> and everyone agreed it was Zephyrin. 
that. Come on. What if we ran over and shoved them off? No, it's like it's that gag of like like fucking uh, Emmerich will just run left and right and they just pro just follow from behind, just slap the shit out of him from the behind. Why must you do this, father? Yeah, I'm noticing a distinct lack of square on this bridge. <laughs> now is the time to renounce the lies which led us down this path. To start anew. Hey, Sydney, when are you gonna wash your armor? He's just rocking it, bro. It's always been red. What are you talking about? Our society. Everything we have built Thank you, over a thousand years. A fool to the last. There's angrily. We're going to tackle the Pope. Here I go. No, you fool! The Zephyrin is sus. LB3. 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 You fucking idiot. Get to my face. Okay, I got it. Okay, doing that was too late. Yeah. No, we're fine. You didn't get the deep off yet. You saw. You saw. You saw him on there. You saw him. You saw him on there. There we go. There we go. Fucking healer. Get the LB. Fucking! I almost have the same fucking brain cell. And this is why you pop a cool down, ladies and gentlemen. As a time. I'm so I'm so excited for Thornton again. <laughs> I have seen a clear where people do like do the full lap twice. By the way, what twice? Yeah, you can do it as many times as you want. <laughs> it's like Prankster, that's a what. <laughs> Everybody just walls it or just jumps off. Yeah, the edge. Everyone just hops <laughs> to the edge. Yeah, people just run to the fucking death wall. <laughs> It's even better too because they have like the the Taco Bell death noise with the fucking ragdoll physics. <laughs> Wait, yeah, because he dies like everybody else, so he just pops into the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I lose my fucking shit. <laughs> we're, we're just doing the fucking pure of heart phase, and all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> Hey, are you good? <laughs> the wound is too deep. It refuses to mend. Oh, That's right. Both. They added this part. Why didn't you die? <laughs> Wait, refu the the wound refuses to mend? Yeah. yeah that it, was it just a says no. That's <laughs> bullshit. Have you ever <laughs> rated anything? <laughs> they added the line. It's like, listen, we got to write this a little better because folks aren't buying it. That's funny as shit. Well, no, it's not the first time they would rework a line as old as, like, Heaven's War, because they also reworked some of the this asshole's lines in Stormblood uh, after 6.0 uh, Asahi's uh, lines, because, you know, they had the voice actor anyway, so it's like, hey, we can rewrite some of this shit and reperform it, because it's like... Yeah, um, so do you remember, like, in the, the Sukuyomi scene, well, the, the scene before, the scene after the Sukuyomi fight, where... He's like he has like this manic face, but he's like his voice is like very delivery, like very whispery. Mm -hmm. um, they re they revoice that one where now he's properly like screaming and he's maniacal, which is great uh, because if it's the animation and the mood better than him just randomly whispering a sponsor ad, <laughs> it it also helps clear up things that happen later on. Yeah, Shadow well, Legends and being cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You, you sponsor made. code. <laughs> I've been fucking stabbed 15 to save 15% off your <laughs> next spear purchase. God, I am very much in pain. God. It's okay. He'll live, right? He'll live, right? He's good. He's G. Healing in okay. 14 basically accelerates what would be natural healing. That's why you can't heal this wound and why you, you still have uh, Chirurgans uh, and Alchemists. Uh, is a good way of putting it, uh, Lynn. Okay, but what does Benediction do? I thought Just I thought removed. the name was Poop Smoke for a second. It should be. It's be not. That'd be it's banger. Pop Smoke. What does Benediction do? It turns you into a Cumberback. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what does the Scholar Move XCOG do? Where they like put the like they like staple the fucking page on your forehead that heals you? Which one is the one where they eat the fairy? 
You mean eat out, right? No, no eat the fur. I mean, they no, they bore, they bore they, the fur. They oh, also great. eat We're that fucking fur again. Yeah. <laughs> eat the ducky moss and gives yeah. you more healing. Eat the ducky moss. <laughs> Uh, continuation. continuation is a gunbreaker ability. It's the name of your combo extender. Mm -hmm. You know, this nice. heals me up in a jiffy, but it, it's screaming with every crunch. <laughs> Why does uh, it do that? that a, I wish you wouldn't do that. That brings up a good point. You can't heal a stab wound, but you can heal being shot into, an, a, into another galaxy from another galaxy and then that galaxy exploding. Yeah, absolutely. But you weren't shot. That's the point. I don't know. Duh, duh. God, I just had flashbacks to Eden. <laughs> I love that. My favorite part about that fight was that there was just a fucking 45 minute cutscene in the middle of the fight. <laughs> that was unskippable. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. Eden was great. Wait. I miss Eden. <laughs> Let me go back. I'm getting trauma oh. flashbacks to. Please. Oh, God. I want I want a Sephiroth encounter to have the entirety of the supernova animation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As like, as, as as like the, the checkpoint cutscene like Eden like Eden Prime. Yeah. So you literally just shut down for two and a half minutes. I want him to do it twice. Was that a thing? Leave me to mourn and give chase. For my son. Yeah, so as a as a reminder, uh, Harshmont was the son of Count Edmond de Fortom. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a great yeah, we're, we're, guy. Outside of the memes, it's actually real sad boy hours. Yeah, it's actually right real sad boy hours for this one because he lost his son. And, you know, this is actually a pretty good punching scene. Rest in peace Reg to a real one. Reg regardless of what you may feel about, like, the the impact of Harshman's character, because a lot of folks is like, oh, I don't really see the big deal of this guy dying. And it's like, yeah, it was still, he, was still, he was an absolute bro. Um, you, know, that, 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 you know, you hate to lose someone like that. And hence, they made an entire ultimate about that not happening. Yeah, and how much you fuck things up when you save them, apparently. Surely Which nothing bad I will happen. I don't get, if I'm going to be real, if we want to, like, tackle that. Okay, so I've researched into, like, the alternate timeline logic, and uh -huh. it's real fucking stupid. Dude, because it's like... I mean, go right ahead. You, you go ahead. The problem is I don't I can't go into too much crazy detail because it does spoil the rest of the story. Right. All right. Well, so how how much? All right. So let, how much do people in chat care? Because this game's been out for fucking eight years. Yeah. Oh God, it has been eight years. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I mean, it'll be. Oh, yeah, it has been eight years because it came out in June, I think. What game? Heaven's Word. Heaven's, Heaven's Word. Exactly. Word. Yeah. June twenty fifteen. I want to say is when the expansion came out. Uh, Blue Dino might, yeah, actually, Blue Dino might actually, because he's 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 been following along with the story so far. So yeah, I, I would say probably for the sake of Blue Dino. <laughs> yeah, Dino earmuffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, if Blue Dino doesn't care, then you can go right ahead. Oh, I don't mind. I suppose. Okay, so exactly what happens is that after the event at the vault, you save Harchafont because you just you know pull an LB three out of your ass and, mm -hmm. and he lives. Because this happens, you just kind of say fuck it and let Thorn do what he wants for a little bit. Which I think like the it, it's implied that you no they patch up that, that you patch that. up Ishgard, <laughs> but so he goes over to Azza's Law. He absorbs the power of the entirety of the Warring Triad. Yeah, and you're like, oh wait, we should probably do something about that. Yeah. Oh, look so at that. He's him, already fucking. So you meet dragons. him in what the Churning Mist or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you beat his ass there with while well, he has, you know, the power of you know being Thorn and, and the power of the Warring Triad, but you spare him for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the but in his escape, he drops Asalon the uh, the weapon with the uh, dragon eye. So Nidhogg, he's still alive, by the way. He's yeah. like, oh, huh, a convenient dragon eye. Interesting. Yoinks that eye. It says, "Hey yo, Raysvoker, what's up, bitch boy?" and fucking enslaves him, beats his ass, enslaves him, and he fucking pulls up on Ishgard with Thracevelger, four eyes in tow, and they're like, all right, cool, fucking double dragons. You beat their ass. Yeah, it's like, in that alternate timeline, where the hell does Nidhogg come from? He's just there. He doesn't. Because he's, he's, he's here the whole time. He's just kind of laying low. But the, the, the thing with the eyes... Uh, no, okay, I guess it's and it's what? post it's post after the Nidhogg fight in the airy, but the the follow up where we take the the eyes out of Estinian never happens. So yeah. he just gets consumed by Nidhogg's influence and becomes Nidhogg. And where exactly he gets the technology is actually exactly Tiamat. 
Yes. He gets the technology by the what is currently holding Tiamat down. Yeah, the Alligan, so, like Neuralink, essentially. Yeah. So you beat their asses in Ishgard, and Thorn's like, "You fuckers kept me alive for some reason. These eyes are mine now." <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> so he now has power of the Warring Triad. It's like it's not really implied, but like it's people kind of assume he now also just absorbed the power of the entirety of, of the Heavens War because the Knights don't show up at all in the final phase. Yeah, and and four Dragon Eyes. Yeah, like canonically, it's one of the most powerful things. Like probably the most powerful thing you like in the game. In the game, yeah, and cannot like it, it. What's the name is the game is God King Thornton. And it's uh, Dragon like King Thornton. Dragon King Thornton, which is like very, very deserving of the title, considering so just like, the amount of juice inside this dude. So like I, uh, I kind of zoned out hmm. and I went into a, a, a spiral of trying to confirm something uh, from the fairy talk, and uh, the, the the whole. <laughs> It unlocked the fucking memory that I was trying to keep, <laughs> Sorry. keep sealed away, and it was from fucking Quantumania. What do you mean? Of just like eating this cocktail drink with a living squid alien in it. Okay. Delicious. That sounds and like gross. the alien is sentient, so you can see it. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no it's no, just no. screaming uh, as it's being eaten. <laughs> Lineback says uh, DSR completely forgets La Habre existed. La Habre I think isn't a thing at that It's time. a safe assumption that Thornton kills La Habre and absorbs the Aether anyway, because he he always had the intention of doing that. Like yeah. in the main story, so it's a safe assumption that Lahabrea is just dead. And the last thing I need is Lahabrea to appear in another fucking old. Oh my god! As, ah, as, as Asian Prime. Ah, ah, yeah, as Asian Prime. As Asian Prime. Are not like us, my son. To they who live forever, the wrong. Yeah, but the, th the 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 thing I love the most about DSR, though, as an ultimate, is just the what if scenario. Like I love the whole what if premise. Like, oh, what if you did this instead, and then we just make a whole new fights out of that instead. You know, I really like the idea behind that, and I'm hoping future fights, ultimate or not, go into that. Because it's fun. I like what ifs. They've already mentioned that they're not going to do it just because the only reason it happened this time was just because of how long DSR was in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, that, that bitch was delayed for a long ass time. Speculation for Inevitable Stormblood Ultimate, it's going to be Shinri. Yeah, there, there are two reasonable answers to what is going to happen is Shinryu. The only reason I'm even remotely skeptical is because Shinryu, and what else? <laughs> yeah, it's like they already blew their load with Omega as the yeah. first Stormblood Ultimate. I, I, see, so, Prankster, you got it. Four Lords Ultimate, four, welcome to my cope train. Yeah, so Four Lords Ultimate gives you more to work with. It gives you a lot more to work with. Uh, Shinri Ultimate, though, I, still, exactly I still want, but it's like, yeah, but like, how do you expand Shinri from that? Yeah, and because uh, reminder that modern day Ultimates don't have four phases, they have six. Oh, Jesus, it's too fucking many, man. Stop. <laughs> World Wars and the Shinri would make no sense. They do have to make I some sort of thematic sense. I, I, I like the fact that later Ultimates that require later expansions are more difficult than ultimates from previous expansions at the same time if we're getting into the 20 minute plus mark with ultimate encounters that's just i'm hey, fucking you exhausted was 20 minutes i know but after they, they didn't do that again like uwu i think was an overcorrection personally it was 14 yeah, minutes yeah no they, yeah no t definitely hit the right the sweet spot yeah t hits the sweet spot at the same time though i'm not gonna hate uwu for being 14 minutes long because that fight is cozy as shit yeah, like, no, it's a very, it's a very comfy ultimate. I love like, Uwu just because we can unironically do Uwu in this fucking series. Yes, uh, I we are later down the road. We will be doing ultimates with Romani, uh, and I'm actually looking forward to Uwu the most because that is when I feel I can comfortably do on air and still like get our clears because Uwu is very cozy. It's still mm -hmm. a hard fight, but it's very cozy. So I want your, I want the go ahead to do this now. By the way, John, like I think I mentioned this to you prior, but I just want the like the confirmation again. I want the confirmation that I'm allowed to explain the ultimate to chat as it's happening. Yes. Oh. That. That's fine. Yeah, that's absolutely. Because, uh, dude, I can't talk and play at the same time, especially for ultimate. Because explaining that fight while it's happening is so fucking sick. <laughs> and then you're probably going to like tell the mechanics well, too. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm just going to die. Uh, we call it Uwu is shorthand for ultimate weapon ultimate. That's not the name of the fight. You saw something. Uh, I think refrain. it's like the weapons, weapons refrain, refrain ultimate. 
Um, but Uwu's the, way we say, But we say Uwu <laughs> because Ultimate Weapon Ultimate. So, you know. Yeah, it's so Weapons for Brain Ultimate. Right. Yeah. The only thing I'm going to ask is, like, we ever do that? Hmm. That last mechanic that literally makes me think, I'm probably going to wipe us one time. Uh, Which one? The one where we're basically all spread out, uh, tanks and healers are on one side of the map. On one side of the map, DPS are on the side. Are you talking yeah. suppression? Yeah. Yes. Ultimate suppression. Uh, I can I, I can just drag you aside and give you a four one one. Thank you. <laughs> suppression. Yeah, was, suppression is pretty simple to work on. Yeah. No. There's. The, I don't. I, the hardest mechanic in that fight is annihilation. Yeah. Annihilation is the scary mechanic. I would agree. Annihilation. Rank delusion. Even, uh, even then, like annihilation. I is personally scary like my, my, my two least favorite mechanics in Uwu is Titan Jails uh, and suppression. Uh, and right, I, you're not tanking this time, so you actually have to right, do that. Mechanic. I actually have to do the mechanic. <laughs> I mean, but I've done it before. You know, uh, I've been a part of other groups doing it. Yeah. Uh, so it's like it's not a problem at all. Is as hard as this. it's harder than a sa like ultimates are a step above savage. Like yeah. they are harder than savage. Ultimates are the hardest fights in the game. Uh, yeah. They are also the longest. Yeah, I, the argument, I, the thing I always have to tell people when talking about when we always say like, oh yeah, Uwu's so easy. We're talking relatively to other ultimates. Like we say like, oh it's it's pretty easy. Like you know it's the easy first ult. It's still the fifth hardest fight in the game. Yes, it is. For a damn reason. <laughs> things it can will still just, kill you. Things will just kill you if you do not understand how things work. Hot take, Uwu is easier uh, A that's on con like uh when it was relevant, I agree, but AAS was nerfed into the fucking ground. Yeah. This is assuming line back. I'm assuming you're talking AAS if you're synced minimum level. Even level is it's not that hard. Uh, well no, you can't out you can't unsync ultimates. Uh oh, yeah, you, you, you have to do them synced. Yep. And you know what? I'm glad I'm glad they're like that. Um, because I rather the challenge of the fight, even after like power creep. Yeah. Keeps them relatively challenging. Edith did the math on this recently somewhere in my DMs. You would literally the first three primals would literally be twenty second phases. Jesus. And you would kill Ultima before annihilation. Like well before annihilation. Well, to be fair, you won't be able to do it because you had to awaken them. Yeah, and that's the issue. So you'd have, you'd have to fucking hold. I I presented what? the hi hypothesis that you're we're so geared and so high leveled now that you could just raw tank the fucking Ultima. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I thought it was a high cap uh, damage cap for that. Okay. We have so much mitigation. We have tank LB three at home. Yeah. <laughs> well, can we even use it? See, as personally, or think, <laughs> by the way, is why I'm waiting until six point five uh, to go back into top. Uh, because Fair. by that point, we'll have 635 dungeon, uh, dungeon gear. And it's still going to be RNG if you can clear it. Yes, it'll still be RNG if we can clear it, but at the at very least, DPS checks won't be as tight. Because uh, I'm hearing that the DPS checks are already more lenient because we have the better food and the better pots. So, that, I, I hope to God that's true, because yeah. fuck. I shall pursue him to the end of the world if I must. Life or death, shocker. I will have Sir Zephyr. <laughs> yeah, fuck Sir Zephyr, Get and he's the imposter. Here, shocker! I will be the end of you, shocker! <laughs> the next relic set me also. You can't escape me. I will chase you to the ends of the earth. Like, God damn, oh, dude. Like, reel it back. No, no, no. It's perfectly fine. I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, speaking of next relic, I cannot wait to see what the new designs are going to be for those. Yeah, Trav, I'm not sure if you can hear this because it's going to be kind of low. But uh, do you remember this? Hey, bring around to the chasers, please. Yes, thank you. And if you haven't had this, yeah, I remember this. Don't try it unless you want to change your life. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what? It would get it. No, I probably wouldn't, but I feel I have to ask anyway. Uh, <laughs> That's a scene for Ant Man. Well, Bill Murray just vores a, a small animal <laughs> as it pleads for its life. <laughs> um, Gordius and Might is on release, nearly re killed 14. Oh my god, yes. Uh, to be specific, the rating scene of 14. Uh, you know. No, like the, the to be fair, Heavens were released was not great. It, um, okay, I, I'll have to take your word for that because I again I joined it, in three point one, so by the, that point, problem, Gordius was well, already. And point one did not help. No, 
The issue was the easy content was way too easy and the hard content was way too hard. Sound familiar, by the way? <laughs> it was... <laughs> Like you did the normal mode rage, like okay, cool. You know we 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 did we did coils, we did this. All right, time for savage. And if Faust beat your ass. <laughs> and nobody did her that night. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got past Faust, and now a little bit later, Nate's the old living liquid. Oh, what's that? You got to fight Faust again? Well, here we go. Oh, well, here comes Faust again. <laughs> He's literally smacking the shit out of the tank. Oh boy, Faust 2.0. The, and the, Faust the worst 3 part about it was you beat Faust and then you beat Living Liquid, your reward is fucking four. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me glad well, that I made didn't. A no, I've always had a portrait. I just freak I keep forgetting to update it hmm? whenever I, like, you know, adjust my nose or some other shit. Yeah. God forbid uh, you milled any material. Rick, thank you for the uh, tier one, by the way. For six, three months. The Rady? The Rady? Da I, ha I hate them. Da Vinky? Da Vinky? They posted a video earlier. It's like, hey, does this help for does this help bees? No, it kills them. It's fucking just that passing around with poison. No, no, no. I don't want to start machinists. Oh, you want to lock machinists? I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you said you wanted to do that. I don't want to do that. Hey, kid, you want a gun? Okay. Go do a crime. <laughs> Hey kid, do you want to see Jesus right now? <laughs> Boy, would I? So yeah, continue on, continuing on to what I was talking about though. It's like, all right, cool. They they released their new raid tier. It, it, we died to immediately to brute justice, <laughs> except we didn't even see brute justice because just getting to him was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> What's that? Also, J kick. Oh boy. Also, six just didn't work. Hmm. Six was dead ass RNG if you lived it. That six. was the, against the uh, four dudes, right? Yeah. Um. It, Elemental Jammer uh, sometimes just applied the the buff to or the debuff to a random player. If you just had the vol and they just killed you. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, Chris, thank you for watching the review. I appreciate that. Yeah, DMC4 was a great game. It was a not a great campaign, but it was a great game. Honestly, it was the a most, great gameplay. <laughs> the, the most challenging video is coming up next. That's DMC. And it's challenging because I need to make sure I am clear and concise with the points I am going to bring up. The time is coming. So mm. No, dude, you see that's see, 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 that that's kind of like the double-edged sword, but also the beauty of it. Because no matter what I say, the comments are going to be full of folks either defending it or hating the game to shreds. Just, just open up the Yo, video. Just, just that, open up the video with engagement, that's, like, baby. Think about the, well, Think about all that engagement. Think about, Engagement think about, mid maxing. Think about how fucking fat that. Before your ad read, God just say really fast, "Stay mad, losers." <laughs> <laughs> no, come back, Santiago. Get back here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just waving like walk the door like a sick copy <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here. Stop yelling at me. Oh Shit. my God, you're naked. <laughs> Uh, oh, good heavens! Oh my god, this machinist is spawning his fucking auto rook every three seconds. What the fuck, man? Why don't I? So I, I've actually been researching into like heavens were released recently and like the point one patch. My favorite thing that I've learned recently was people are like, okay. The the new EX drop for for uh for Gordius so we can get the new EX up and help us with the DPS checks. The 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 EX that released was Thornton, and he also <laughs> killed you. Oh God, <laughs> yes, I remember Party Finder for he King Thornton. He also beat your ass, dude. It was a difficult ass fucking fight it's back then. It's a great EX though. It's a wonderful EX, but fuck. I can't <laughs> wait to do that with Romani actually, because we're gonna be doing that mid I level. Too. I want to join. I, I'm yeah, so yeah, excited sure. to I'll die to the fucking that. Dragoon Dashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will join, but I will DPS. I would not heal for I'm that. looking forward to, to that. that. Honestly, honestly God, like, like, is the ultimate. Thornton EX is going to be so fun, and Shenryu EX are going to be fantastic. 
Oh, shame to you. I yeah, I really would. We were talking about it a couple of streams ago, but I really wish they would retool Thorn and Normal because that dude, even on con even Men on My level, is such a fucking I, pushover. I get it. He's it's supposed to represent him not being as strong as he's he's been typing up, but like, holy fuck. For a final boss of a base expansion, he should put up you, way more of a fight. Yeah, you gotta give him some juice. Yeah, because that guy just dies. You're kicking an old man's shit into what did you expect? But that old man has two dragon eyes. And, and it's at S in. And a, yeah, and a, yeah. Does he have two it, eyes in that moment? Does he, have, he, has, he has an eye in the sword? And yeah, I, no, no, he only has the one eye. No, yeah, that's right, sorry, sorry. He takes the one I eye. I mean, granted, he's still a primal with a dragon eye, but. Right. Uh, uh, Alright, shit, because I changed the glamours, I have to rework the portrait. Fuck. Ugh. No, didn't you already do that? No, 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 but I did the fucking luchador shit afterwards, which fucks with the portrait, so I gotta... Wait, you're a luchador? Reason. Well, Santiago was doing his pose, and I have a luchador outfit for Romani as a monk. Um, mm -hmm. Because I, I was thinking of this cute little photo idea I had with Romani and Joan, like, as luchadors. Uh, but the problem is, is that there's, there's not really a luchador mask in this game. Uh, or at least one that I would like, where... Because I was thinking... When I think luchador mask, I think of, like, something like Rey Mysterio Jr. wears, right? Uh, where it's like the half mask with the eye slits, uh, but that's yeah. not really a thing in this game. Outside of the Garlean visor, I guess. But exactly uh, that one. But exactly that one. Uh, I wanted to do something cute with that one uh, because I like to think in his downtime, Romani wrestles. <laughs> but really weird side hustle. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, we all got to pay the bills. I shall bury you in your maw. Yeah, so this is our second visit to the Sea of Clouds. This will be our last visit to the Sea of Clouds. Now you gotta fuck up Sin. Yeah. We might do Bismarck, actually, tonight. Uh, and if so, then, um, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go with the Party Finder, and it'll be first come, first serve. Uh, oh, okay. So I don't feel uh, so bad about neglecting people. You just gotta be quicker on the draw. What level is Bismarck, 57? <laughs> first serve, first come. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's 57 uh, caps of 58. Are uh, we doing a mid -iron level or? Uh, yes, I would like to. Oh, the woe is. These samurai's playable pre fucking 60, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah, because they got rid of the uh, the charge up attack. Which, you know, personally, animation wise, I miss every day. Oh, it's sick as fuck, but rest in peace. It was sick as fuck, but rest in peace, you piece of shit. I don't miss you because I hated that skill. I'm, I'm glad they got rid of it because it makes samurai at 60 actually fun. Wait, what, what skill? Um, I forget the damn name of the attack. Kaiten. What was it? Kaiten. Kaiten, yeah. It was the Kaiten. skill that boosted your next weapon skill. Which oh. you always which you always paired up with Madari or your dot. Yeah. Um, but, like, you didn't... I'm trying to think. No, you never built up enough Kanki in your opener to have... Uh, Kaiten ready for a, your opener and it felt like garbage. Your opener at 60 built up 15 but before your first Midori. Yes. Ugh. And it was awful. It felt awful. There's also just, I love how they throw a fart cloud right here without me having to look at anything. That's really great. What's the closest support? Is it okay, Zundu? Oh, dude! We, the best the uh, best beast tray from Heaven's Word. Um, no, the Moogles aren't here. No, 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 no. Oh, no. you're talking about the Vanu Vanu? The Vanu Vanu boys. Really? You think they're the best one, man? I can't oh, agree. Dude. dude, because they make you go everywhere in the fucking map for Everything quests. in this expansion makes you go everywhere. I yeah. know, but it's I feel like with the Sea of Clouds, it's worse. Duh, but you're, you're not, in the clouds. Because you're supposed to fly around. That's exactly it. Because no, we're this, in this the clouds and you gotta big. go high and low. Yeah, but you get the funny dance. All I see. Oh, where is the fuck is the goddamn? I do get the funny dance, and I'm a male character, so I get the better Vanu. Yeah, you get, you get the, the real version of it. I get the better sun drop shit dance. You get the sucks. holy shit. Oh. The, the sun drop dance for females is garbage. Yeah, they need energy behind that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking pump that chest. Yeah, no, m m males don't win much, but they they won yeah, on that but one. But they win the sun drop dance. The, the rare man W. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wrong place. 
God, I haven't been here in <laughs> ages. <laughs> I, I literally don't even remember where the fuck the trial takes place. Okay, Zenzu. Oh, I, oh, I actually I think I learned this. Yeah. I'm like kind of like I'm DG, I'm reaching deep into the fucking memory bank. Oh, there's an instance here. Uh. How do you lose an airship? <laughs> it was an entire fucking plot thread in R about it. Just look up, idiot. <laughs> Although, if we're lucky, I think we can see the Void Arc uh, from here at some point. Oh, that's a weird uh, ship in the That'll, in that'll the be our Surely next Alliance relevant. Raid series. I'm actually looking forward to that one because it means we'll actually do the Weeping City of Muck. Uh, can we do minimum level for that? And we can, so yeah, we, no, we're doing minimum level for all the Alliance stuff. Uh, I can hear okay. the popping off from here. <laughs> I, I believe. Try to remember. Oh, this is where we meet Varus. Actually, or is that a cutscene ahead? Oh yeah, I forgot about the fucking one off time we see like the one of the uh, leader. Well, of what, no, the emperor. Garland. The emperor. Yeah, we actually we see the emperor himself in his massive fucking Metroid shoulders. Uh, curious about something. What kind of mods are? quote unquote allowed in this game i know None. mods that mess with stats are not for obvious reasons but i've also been seeing some vsfx mods only and i've been wondering how on earth do those work so modding technically is the answer is that it is none at all uh but it's kind of a don't ask don't tell policy yeah. if you don't fucking go all like on shout chat and let people know that you're working with mods nothing can be done about that and obviously don't stream that by the way. Yeah, and don't stream mods, obviously, yeah. Like personally, I what so I'll, I'll tell you uh, right now, actually. Let me let me let me take care of this instance well, Let me take care of these folks. Zoom hacks. I will say <laughs> I will say I was uh, I was perusing uh, my YouTube feed. I got like a random recommendation for a uh, 414 streamer. Yeah. I like this case. I like keep up to date with like who's in the community, so I, I took a peek in. Holy fuck! <laughs> I skipped to a random part of it. I saw the fucking. I saw a mare. I saw fucking. Uh, the, the, the fucking. Penumbra? Like, or the Penumbra uh, menu. No, I'm no, like, you, Yo, you, you, that can get you banned. It, like, it, it, like, they zoomed in on the character. Big booba, nips peeking out. I'm like, this is breaking all types of TOS. Yeah, that they're taking enormous risks doing that. Um. But hell no! Something that I that I that I use and I've had used in a couple of streams that you've seen is reshade. Uh, reshade is technically a mod, so it they is. They have named reshade exactly and have said that that is allowed. Yeah, they have said that is allowed by name. But no, everything else like involving shaders and stuff is technically not allowed because it is you know it requires a third party tool to enable. So, like, if I enable shaders right now, like, to, like, make the game not look like pee pee poo poo, that's technically not allowed. But again, the devs don't care as long as you don't flaunt it. Or as long as long as you don't flaunt it, or as long as you don't use it to belittle others. You know, My because another, another so thing about better. this is, like, well, ACT, the Advanced Combat Tracker. That's, how, that's your DPS meter. That's how you know how well you're doing. Like in the battle itself, that's a third-party tool. Every everybody and their grandma probably uses it. Uh, don't well, bully. Well, SAT. Uh, don't bully anybody because they're not yeah, performing bully. their jobs optimally as as they should be. Because you're not supposed to be able to see those numbers in the first place, and you're well. Also, you're just an asshole if you do that. Yeah, quite literally, I've actually had people actually got on my ass for not like being like top tier, even though I'm like, I'm just doing fucking duty relets, dude. Fuck yeah. off. Oh my god, <laughs> and, dude. Yeah. Two weeks ago, I had a tank in a dungeon a dungeon a dungeon is the most casual content you can do in final fantasy 14 fucking left early because we were not optimizing our bursts for ads and it's like my guy and i didn't say this out loud because i had act running i'm looking at the num <laughs> like i'm looking at the numbers like me and the bard are fucking killing it dude we are doing so great dps wise but we're not killing the trash mob optim like are you fucking yeah, high cry about it yeah and then he left early and then me and the bard and the healer just dunked it on the rest of the instance <laughs> my basic rule of thumb for dunk as long as we're out of there within 25 minutes i'm fine if my food doesn't run out during the dungeon pool we're fine Yeah, if it's like a new dungeon. Also, where who we're fucking still cares, man? It's dungeons. Like, dungeons are the most casual content you can do in this game outside of, like, farming. No, I agree. It's just, it's like, just don't, you know, don't slow down for the sake of slowing down. Right, right. That was. But I want to read this little passage. 
the gay dragon. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the, the boy, boy, the, the, dragon boy gay. the dragon gay. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to Google Library because I always had like this little tradition where every time we ran past those books, I always gave it like a greeting. So it showed up in the emo chat, and every once in a while, <laughs> I'll get the random, like, rando who runs it with me. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> there's, a, there's a book called you The Boy of the U-turn? Dragon Gate. Yeah. And we're going to read that out loud for chat. <laughs> yes, story time. Story time. <laughs> <laughs> Metroids. <laughs> Odd music choice, but whatever. I'm here for story time. Suddenly, Metroids are now in Final Fantasy XIV. Wait, is this supposed to be voice acting? No, this is no, not at all. Think they can afford that? Oh, that's fair. My favorite is running Anti Tower because you can tell who has played Final Fantasy IV beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> It's that damn flying whale again. Oh, Wait, which one? that flying... Oh, there's only one flying whale I know of, Linky. <laughs> yeah, cut, cut to the fucking Final Fantasy 10. Whoa, Lonu. Whoa, Lonu. You just can't say that on Twitch, man. <laughs> like, the sin. The guy's delayed ass reaction. That's yeah. He's wounded. <laughs> yeah. Love that, love that guy. <laughs> Quick, use your gun. Oh, wait, you didn't get the gun. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I wish this fight was. I wish this fight was better. He just <laughs> fucking ate a whole island. Like just, that's so sick. <laughs> like I love that island. Pity if something would happen to it. It'd be a shame if I fucking ate it. Hmm. I left my life savings on that island. <laughs> Haven't oh my... you ever heard of a bank? <laughs> What's a bank? <laughs> Yar. There be whales here. Man, if I had a dollar for every single time a Square Enix game had a flying whale boss, I'd have three dollars. <laughs> Wait, three? <laughs> uh, six uh, was the introduction to Bismarck. So, that's one. I don't know what other game had Bismarck in it. Uh, this Bismarck. This Bismarck. Did it bring Bismarck right Stin. again? So, oh, I guess it yes, is pretty much a flying whale. It's gotta be four, uh, Mantra. Yeah. Space Wait, you said... <laughs> Wait, that, <laughs> does that count as Final Fantasy? <laughs> Motherfucker, that's a that's a Final Fantasy game of spirit. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Bro, you could just pop Sprint. Banks want to <laughs> empty the banks, fill our streets with banks, or run a bank making operation out of his banks. So who's going to tell Square Enix that whales can't actually fly? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they can fly if they're on fire. The only flying whale... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the only... Hey, are we going to follow up on that? Are we going to follow up on that? <laughs> no. <laughs> the only flying whale I know of is Whale Lord. <laughs> uh, not on fire. But a lot of fucking cats. He doesn't require fire. Yeah, but a lot of fucking cats. You get a follow up on it. No, we're releasing the game now. Fuck you. Uh, Bismarck is apparently in 11, 13, and 13, too. Hmm. I'm thinking back to 13. Where the hell is he showing up? Where the hell do you run into Bismarck in 13? You, you see, he is basically. I'm like. The flipping page. through the pages right now. <laughs> I think you're just making that shit up, man. <laughs> or Bismarck like, could be in the name of something else. Also, I will say, I've been enjoying the new meme of, uh, like, Final Fantasy won't turn your, your kids gay, but Bahamut will. Because <laughs> <laughs> now that this is two times that someone gay has been connected to Bahamut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that yeah. fucking chest, man, I'm telling you. Fucker has a pair of breasts bigger than I do. God Wait, damn! His mark is a fallacy that protects the. Yeah. Motherfucker, you, the only fallacy I know in that goddamn game is anima. <laughs> I don't even know what a fallacy is. Bismarck is the name of a German That's ship in World War II. True, actually. Oh. 
Oh, it's an amp of Nazi battleship. Oh, wow. That, paint, that paints Bismarck in a different way. Oh. <laughs> hmm, I don't feel very comfortable. I mean, he's just a naval warship. It's just that, that's just what the happens that. He's not just a primal we have to stop. He's also a Nazi. He's also a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can be around these Nazis <laughs> yes, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, Trump? No. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> You're Nazis. Right I appreciate thinking. you checking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to go punch Nazis. I'm sorry. <laughs> so much for the tolerant left. <laughs> I <love that> so <laughs> <laughs> you sure it's six quests before you unlock Bismarck? Well, this is. I think it might be the quest after this. That early. Yeah, well, they, no, they, no they, because they, like we're we're so the vault is a fifty-seven dungeon, I believe. Yeah, no, foot's on the gas at this point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so after this, yeah, we're high telling it to Az's Law. Uh, yeah, and you then, go to Az's Law not long after Bismarck. Yeah, so I think technically we might end the game the next session. Well, we might end three point oh next session. Yeah, we're heading fourteen next time. Yeah, <laughs> absolute, just fucking roasting the entire thing. Yeah, next we're time we're actually going go to Japan. Unplug the servers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> finally. Release. Meanwhile, meanwhile, and the, and the kid's just like, what the fuck are you guys doing here? I'm not ready yet. <laughs> guys, So no, in the cause... alternate timeline, do we just not give a damn about Bismarck? Um, it's implied that um that Thornton just came over here and fucked him up himself. Yeah, he in, literally inside, ate, inside the whale. Literally is, ate is the, the whale. Key. Yeah, he ate the whale, too. That's a nice little whale. Could eat that whale. Delicioso. Alright, right, so here's, here's the food chain. Oh, it goes, you mean eating I just out, got right? fucking King Thornton with the sombrero and the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and on, on the mean? sombrero, it says it's fiesta time. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta greet you with the bow. Sorry. What the fuck? Ah, oh, man. I, there are really, Who the hell drew an endymion over here? There are times, man, where I really wish certain emos were just unisex. Because I like the male Lollafell bow. Right? You just do, like, m'lady. I like How that. How about the male, uh... You know, the, the female, the the female Lollafell bow is just, you know, a little prissy little princess little bow. But it's like, uh, I, I hate how overly girly some things are for the female and... You know. Also, what was it? Oh yeah, the play dead for for male lollafells is funny it's so because funny. your ass is just sticking out. Like my ass is just wholesale out there. I mean, like, bro, why why you fall like that's that? Not, that's not the play dead pose. That's the <laughs> I owe money in jail pose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the Johnny Sasaki. You're absolutely right. And that's the female one. The female one is, well, I mean, from, it also depends on the race, too. Yeah. Uh, for Makote, it's essentially almost the Yamcha pose. Uh, Fetal position. Yeah. Because cats. Uh, what about who else is here? Uh, Linky, I think the play dead is also Yamcha. No, you just, oh, wait, you, you have the female Lalafell pose. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, female Lothfels fall on their back like that. Well, I mean, to be fair, there's only so many ways someone can right. die. Uh, Joaquim, you're here. Uh, what's the play dead emo for you? Do you oh, have, oh do you right. Have play dead? I have the Peter Griffin death. <laughs> Come on, uh, okay, so Joaquim doesn't have, likely doesn't have play dead, but they can Go blue boom. mage. And they can just self destruct if you want to. Go boom. I, I want to hear the Taco Bell do Are it. Are you going to self destruct? Fucking do it! <laughs> Blow you yourself up. Self destruct. Come on, Joaquim. You can. You can. Don't you just want to? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Don't you ever just want to? Yeah, yeah. Ape shit? Here, you want me to show you how it's done? I'll do it in front of you, and then you can do the same thing too. See, you just, you just do this. You swift cast, and then you die. Goodbye. Isn't that so funny? You should do it. <laughs> My sins are catching up to me. Boom! Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, Joaquim. Thank you very much. I wish they had like uh, a, 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 a jello um, death pose. Aditha, you're a here. What's the play dead for you? You're a human. Die. Go die. Uh, Draha, <laughs> you're also a raw. What's the play dead for you? Okay, that was pretty boring, actually. But then again, Hero is probably the most boring race. Yeah, Ouch. there we go. Uh, a raw is probably. That uh, was okay. Yeah, the Wait, funniest is probably fucking male. Lollafell, because their ass is just it's, it's so fucking there. exaggerated. Yeah, their ass is just a whole lot out there. Who dies the most interesting? Jesus Christ, that explosion was large as shit. I don't have Blue Mage unlocked for Romana yet. 
uh, sadly. We'll do it next week. <laughs> no. Well, okay, yeah, for a zone, sure. But Blue Mage is probably going to be the last thing I do for 6.45. I'm so excited. You're Mary freaking Poppins, y'all. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Mary Poppins, cool. It's the it's the annual run around in a circle for half an hour event. Oh yeah, you're right. It is fucking the raccoon death pose. You're right from Dragon Ball. Raccoon. Raccoon uh, for the Ginyu Force. Raccoon. Oh, okay. Raccoon. Oh, kick. Raccoon. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, yeah, there raccoon. is also a. Uh, That's a slur. Yeah. There is also another <laughs> death animation for. <laughs> 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 I just realized we haven't even entered fucking Ilchire yet. Yeah, no, it's uh, it kind of happens out of nowhere. Yeah, which also has a cutscene I love in that too. To be fair, it's when the fucking goblin is setting up the bombs, and you just are we see doing this character just run off? Are we doing Alexander Minon level? Yes, we are. <laughs> I was I was talking about this with Trios uh, during TMG. I tried doing this like fucking four years ago with the old FC and it just didn't work. <laughs> we did A1 exactly mid a mile level and we had to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Wait, as in Savage Alexander? No, 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 no. Just normal Alexander. Mid. Okay. As Personal much selfish request. I, It's sink down for Savage. Sick. Like, not mid item level. Let's but sink, sink down, down to 60. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, of course we do that. But minim minimum idol level Savage Alexander is something I want to do on Jaune first before I do on Romani because I never done it on Jaune in the first place. And I kind of am. I am very morbidly curious about A3S, A4S and 8AS. Well, A3S, I'll tell you right now, is just clock position simulator. Fine, whatever. But a lot of folks labeled it and A4 as a static killer. And I want to see for myself. It's why. significantly nerfed, yes. by the way. I don't if care. We get the, if we want the original experience, whenever anybody pops one of the orbs, we do have to wipe. Yes. It doesn't kill you anymore. Oh, oh right. I remember with this. Fuck me, dude. Ugh. Yeah. No, it's yeah. like I, I hate when I do new MSQ quests, and as soon as I accept it, a bunch of other question marks just appear on the map, like exclamation points. It was like side quests. Fuck. Now I gotta do these because they're yeah, aether currents. All, yeah, all, all these are aether currents. Yeah, they're aether currents, so I gotta do them now. Oh yeah, Digititis should also like function now. <laughs> nah, I, I brush my teeth, so I don't have to worry about Digititis. My favorite part about Digititis is that you just tell a healer, yeah, you don't get to deal damage anymore. <laughs> enjoy, this, enjoy this uh, damage down for fucking 20 seconds. <laughs> idiot. That you are required to take. Yeah, I can't wait, personally. To, I mean, it's not even. I'm not even in terms of like the Savage stuff. I'm more just talking about regular Alexander. Yeah, we're gonna do stuff. Yeah, we're gonna actually gonna Dude, I think the funniest fight is actually gonna be the very first fight. Yeah, no, because A1 doesn't do anything anymore. A1 is so fucking is is such a striking dummy nowadays that folks don't know what the fight is. Like outside of just smacking the goons. Yeah, you have to like balance like your mini puddles to be in bombs and shit. It's like real weird. And yeah. you have to deal with the clone. Yes. It's not my preferred steak sauce anyway. What, A1? No. Yeah, A1 steak <laughs> you prefer A1 Savage, yes. <laughs> yeah, we have A1 steak sauce and we have E3 in this game. <laughs> I thought E3 was dead. Not yet. Oh, yeah, it, it is. It, 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 it's, it, it, it's, dead, it's dead content. Yes. True. But. <laughs> okay, so in fucking four years when you get there. No. <laughs> so I think at the rate I'm going, right, I'm probably so at the rate I'm going, I'm likely gonna finish Heaven Sword the entirety of Heaven Sword. I'm talking about up until the end of 3.5 by the end of summer, uh, which means I'm probably gonna start Stormblood likely in winter because I, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to keep playing for. I mean, I love playing 14. I do. I love this game to death, but I know not all of you are a fan of 14. Could give less of a shit about it. 
Uh, so I'm going to obviously be switching to other games later down the road, but I do want to resume uh, my 14 adventures with Stormblood towards the end of the year. So we're going to start Stormblood probably in November, likely December. Um, so we should be at Shadowbringers by mid next year. <laughs> uh, and and Walker is probably not going to be until the end of next year. I'm because uh, there's a lot of shit. We there's the thing. Russia. I'm not even talking about like the MSQ related stuff. Once we finish 3.0 with Romani, we're going to be sidetracking into all of the other shit that Heaven Sword was available. And that includes that includes no, we can't do diadem because diadem as originally designed is not a thing in Heaven Sword, dude. You're yeah, talking dude, about gathering diadem. It's oh. gone. But we're going to do Palace of the Dead. And oh. we, we're gonna do <laughs> all 200 floors. Of who who floor. are we getting for that? I will let you know later. Uh, I will let you know that Editha will be an immediate recruit because Editha has farmed Palace of the Dead. So my my I, man's is a fucking lunatic. Yeah, Editha is absolutely <laughs> fucking insane with the uh, the deep dungeon shit. So we Editha is a shoe in for that shit. Um, what the fuck did I? Oh, I have to say, wake up and shout chat. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake woke. Smell the ashes. Oh, wait, there wasn't an exclamation point at the end of that shit. You gotta target him, too. No, no, you don't, because you automatically okay. target. Oh, man, 200 floors again. I, I got dead. so fucking upset, dude. What's I, up? Eureka Orthos. Oh, did, were you floor, part of that party DC? Floor 93 DC. We 90k'd. Oh, when the oh. server went down. Yeah. And when you DC, it automatically kills you. It kills yep. the run, yeah. It fucking oh. just ends the run. I really wish they would incorporate a failsafe for that. I really wish to. Because I know a lot of people who want to get into soloing, but just won't because How soon are we that. doing it? If it's 200 floors and one of my other classes, why they're close enough? So, Blue <laughs> Dino, I'm going to be real with you. Uh, Pop D is going to be one of those things that I'm going to be selfish about. I'm going to recruit folks that I have done the concept before and know we can get it done. Um, that, yeah, is something, that is something you're going to have to do on your own time. <laughs> Um, because uh, I want to, I, I don't want to have to explain anything. I just want to jump in and just like veg with friends doing it. Uh, so yeah, just to give you a heads up on that one, because I know. Uh, so for 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 context and for clarity, uh, we have a user here in the chat, uh, Blue Dino, who's been essentially playing the game as I've been playing the game. Uh, it's their first time, uh, and they're experiencing a lot of things for the first time as I'm playing the games for like the second or third time in this game. Uh, so it's been quite an adventure, like, seeing them progress in the game as I am taking you through this game. Uh, but for certain content, namely, like, the high-end stuff, I do myself because I, I just want to get a move on uh, at that point, And I don't want to, uh, you know, explain everything. We're trying to podcast stream that shit. Mm, yeah, exactly. So I got some bad news. What's up? Uh, Payday 3 is dead. Oh really? Payday what happened? three is dead. Yeah. Oh boy, can't wait to hear. The this. game's not even out yet. And it's already dead. How yeah, already? Oh, uh, because blue. they're Hard. switching it to a uh, always online live service game, and oh, you know boy. those die in like six months. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're yeah. not selling well. Jesus Christ, man! I didn't even know there was a payday three. I thought it stopped it too. It was announced yeah. like a week ago. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, All it was right. announced during the not E3 this year. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, Limitless Blue is unlocked. This is our second trial of Heaven's Ward. This is the fight against Bismarck. Uh, I am going to set up a party finder. The uh, private party finder, the password's always going to be the same, 8008. Uh, it is first come, first served. Uh, so if you don't make it, tough. You say that, but Hitman games have been doing that for years, Jason. The Hitman games are still a fucking solo event. Yeah, they're not like paid DLC and stuff like that. You could actually just go in and do whatever you want. Yeah. Which, uh, look forward to that in two weeks. <laughs> Plus, it's like, it's a new version of the game that they released where it has all that content in it. It's not like you're having to use an online, you know, feature in order to stay in the game. Damn! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn, that was good. Fuck. Yeah, I wish my fucking raids looked like that. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> uh, we need 
two tanks. I can, I we need a second tank. Well. Okay, um, uh, we have a second tank. I can go. Oh wait, 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 wait! Hold on, fucking blue dino's not here. Um, someone has to leave. I'm sorry. Um, someone has to leave because we have to have blue dino involved. Uh, I need, I, I need to. We need to fucking. All right, you know what we'll do? I got it. Oh, no. All right, so everyone in say, everyone's in the say chat, right? In the the log. Yep. Uh, no, well, actually, we get to keep it in party chat. Everyone's type slash random. The person with the lowest number has to be ejected from the party to make. I lose the these. <laughs> I got a nine sixty eight. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, no, I, <laughs> oh, I lost my no. one. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. Oh, okay, oh no, 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 no! Pen dragon <laughs> rolled a sixty seven. Uh, Pendragon, I'm sorry. Uh, we do need to invite Blue Dino because they have been a part of this adventure uh, from the beginning, so they get priority uh, and shit. So we're gonna have to meet up for another thing. Thank you, Pendragon. I appreciate it. Uh, where the fuck is Blue Dino? I lost them. Yeah, lost the them right here. Where the hell are they? Oh, oh there you are. Sorry. Did I say did Zuber get lost? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, and as far as, you know, like that whole Hitman comment, okay, well, you also had Babylon's Fall, you had Crossfire X, you had Back for Blood, you had Knockout City, you had Apex Legends Mobile, you had Marvel's Avengers. You have all these fucking live service games dying after pretty much a year. I don't have high hopes for Payday 3. Jesus. All right, so this is, yeah, portrait check, by the way. I'm going to give you guys a minute uh, to don't, do this. Don't get DMV'd. Don't get DMV'd. Check your portraits. Make sure it's all good. Uh, we are doing the second trial of Heaven's Ward. This is Bismarck. It's the Flying Well. Primal oh, God of the Vanus. I DMV before you. Uh, we're also doing this minimum mile level and synced, so we will have to respect some mechanics, although if you know how to push buttons, as we've seen before, trials are actually not that hard if you know how to push buttons. Uh, as we found with Ravana, disappointingly so. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that nice portrait? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> nice yeah, Halo dipshit. Infinite's pretty much dead. And so is Halo itself. I'm going to do a raid check. Which is sad. Make sure everyone's good to go. You would think that... I, I never expected for uh, Metroid to outlive Halo. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. All right, everyone's good to go. Excellent. No, without further Make ado. Make sure everyone puts a nice portrait every single time John's portrait fucks up. <laughs> Fuck you. But okay. <laughs> Thank you for the engagement. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. I have to hustle. This is Bismarck. This is the OG Bismarck. A fight that is unironically harder than, <laughs> un 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 unironically harder than its EX equivalent. Because by EX, you have your full kit. The only thing that makes this fight awkward is that you're level 58. So you Wait, don't have access to your entire pit. We're minimum item level. If yes. we kill the bubbles, we die. Yes, yep. we do. So don't kill the fucking bubbles. If the sky is dark, don't kill the fucking bubbles. That's the only thing I'll say. Also, tanks right now need to not need to determine what snake they're gonna be tanking. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna put it out here right now. Blue Dino, you tank the blue snake. Joaquin will tank the green snake. By the way, I love, love this fucking theme. Alex and Boya, what I mean is that I'm amazed that in the year 2023, Halo is pretty much dead, but Metroid is thriving. <laughs> right, oh, I never so popped food. What the fuck? Here's my smoke. I get to cheat here and get early stacks of my of my Kenki gauge. So it's like this fight is very reminiscent of the Sin battle in 10, uh, as in how you're supposed to take it down. Uh, and I like that for it. Which phase? Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about the fight is to do the exact same phase twice. Yes. So oh, why right. does the whale just eat the island that you're on? Okay, the whale is current is constantly attacking the island you're on. That's why it has there, though, there's a, there's an island integrity meter here on the on the right. Though I will say, if everyone dies, it actually plays a cutscene in this. Yes, yeah, it does. There, there is a unique, unique death duty cutscene. fail cutscene for this. If you fuck up, uh, that said, I don't want to fuck up. <laughs> no, you should wipe. I right think now. there are <laughs> only two fights in the entire game that have something like that. By the way, it's this and Rathalos. Rathalos, yes. 
Oh, yeah, it's it's Rathos Rathos EX right or Rathos normal? Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's fuck up. Everyone die. I yeah, think it only happens if... I, I don't think it happens if you wipe it. You have to die like specific intervals. No, I think if you just die, it, it triggers it. You can go down there? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Hold on. I didn't know that. Look at that. How far can we go? Is, it, is there a jump puzzle here? <laughs> <laughs> Most <laughs> sane 14 player. Also, I like how even with those fucking fucking rounds, we still nearly killed it. Hold on, let's die. I want to see. Yeah, everyone jump off. Everyone jump everyone off. Kill everyone just right fucking now, jump off game. the island right now. Just fucking die. Just fucking die. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the island is afraid. Does the island need to break? Yeah, the yeah. island needs to break. Okay, okay. So damn. Eh, okay. Well, that's gonna take too long. Yeah, it's gonna take too long. Even middle mile level. Yeah, okay. you, you don't sink the island down. You only sink yourself down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see it in action, just uh, yeah. Maybe. Google it. <laughs> yeah, Google it. YouTube over this. Also, I will be right back. Sin in the Baleen bomb, I could get a third eye prime. More, <laughs> more Kenki, increasing my parse. What's that? No, nothing. It's just that I find your rotation. <laughs> Laughable. Well, laugh. I nearly bought that as a cup. <laughs> I decided to be financially responsible. Perhaps a grade <laughs> six tincture will do next time. Yeah, don't, don't don't worry. You'll yeah. see the snake. So after you kill the ads, you have to launch the two dragon killers to chain down Bismarck to drag him to the island, and then we have to hop onto his back uh, and then uh, kill the pimple. You know, it's like the Oogie Boogie fight, phase two, in, uh, King of Hearts. By the way, this thing is only it only takes damage if you're on the back. And what drives me nuts is folks on the island still trying to attack it from the island, not realizing that they're not doing any damage. Yeah, people don't look at the game. Yeah, people don't read tooltip. Anyways, uh, Riku clips snakes. Snake, snake, snake. Here we go. These have to be tanked apart. If they are too close to each other, they get a defense up, and it makes them nearly impossible to kill. Also, these are the boss. Ignore these the are the part. boss. Yes, this is the hardest part of the fight, actually. Now, granted, everyone here should have their monitor turned on since they're watching the stream, so yes. it won't be too big a deal, and but... tanks should practice, but don't fucking turn the boss towards the at the, the, the party. Yeah, just, like, you know, weave intermittently your, your cooldowns, because these guys do hit kind of hard. Yeah, and we are minimal mile level, so, you know, keep that in mind. You will melt if you're not properly geared. Yeah, these guys will just... They'll, they will just occasionally throw out a, an untelegraphed tank buster. Yes. They, does hurt so tank missile T tank buster oh uh, and in case yeah. people are wondering yes this is on a time limit I li my favorite line of that short specifically is wow you're kidding me with that takeoff speed <laughs> 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 i don't know why but that one makes me laugh more than anything else <laughs> okay, i mean he's going so slow man <laughs> he's going very slow yeah, so here's the thing is, like, even minimum idol level and saint, things still just die because I'm assuming most people here in the party just know how to push buttons. Um, which it's confirms also, what's up. Um, I mean, obviously, like, you know, us clicking buttons is good. Uh, this does die faster than it did back in the day as well, just because the, the numbers are just naturally higher. Yes, I, yeah, you're probably, you're, you're right about that. All right, so what I'll say right now, in case it needs to be bare repeating, don't kill the fucking vapor bubbles. Uh, once they spawn, leave them alone. Because what's going to happen is Bismarck, Bismarck is going to change the weather to produce storms. And storms are followed by lightning strikes. And it just so happens that vapor bubbles make great conduits for lightning strikes. So if you leave the vapor bubbles alone, the lightning strikes will hit the bubbles instead. If you destroy the vapor bubbles, the lightning strikes will target players instead. And you know what happens when a bunch of players are grouped up during lightning strikes? They you die. just fucking die. Like full so on low tier the vapor yeah. bubbles. Get away from the vapor bubbles. Right, Don't touch the vapor bubbles. Get away, yeah, get away from, from the, the vapor bubbles. Yeah, here are you ready? Uh, stand we'll closer to it. Yeah, this will kill the bubbles. These act as conduits for that. Yeah, if the vapor bubbles weren't alive. Uh, we take that instead, and if people are grouped up together, you just fucking die. Yeah, Alma took 5k from that. If we stack those, that literally kills everyone. Yes. 
So, but it, again, it, it only should, if he should be stressed, Thunderhead only happens when the sky is dark. Because if this Corona. fight lasts, if this fight lasts long enough to, for a second phase, uh, the sky will become green instead. And if that's the kill. case, you want to kill the bubbles. Because if you don't, the bubbles will act as like a conduit for like a souped up AOE attack, if I recall correctly. It's a windstorm? Yeah. Uh, and Congratulations. It just, you fucking die regardless. Congrats, I also don't you think killed he, the Corona. I don't think he does the windstorm on normal. No, not the one in extreme. The one with the, like the knockback and shit. Yeah, so like these bosses, even middle and my level die because we're, we have a bunch of players here that know exactly how to read their tooltips and shit. So like things die no matter what. The middle and level aspect of it will come more into play when we start doing the extremes. Uh, because when we finish 3.0, uh, <laughs> what's up? Just <laughs> digging onto the floor. Oh, okay. I don't know why that got me. <laughs> uh, when we when we finish 3.0, we are going to dedica dedicate a session to the extremes of Ravana, Bismarck, and Thor. Uh, and I feel in those fights, middle mind level is going to have more of an effect because shit will have to be majorly respected during those fights. Uh, I'm gonna. Put you're an gonna, you're on, gonna Bismarck? on Bismarck specifically? Yeah, because yeah. Bismarck, even back in Heaven Sword, uh, was considered much easier than the you, normal you do fight. Bism you do Bismarck to prepare for Ravana. Yes. Yeah. You do Bismarck EX was uh, strangely, well, um, funnily enough, considered easier than its normal encounter because you enter Bismarck EX at level 60. And at that point, you have your full Heaven Sword kit. So you have more ready available for you, which is why it was considered easier than the actual. Yeah, and dragoons were eating that fight. Yes, they were. Aww. Ravana EX though will be a very interesting fight. I'm expecting us to die there. Yeah, and we need it, it, probably eight giga gamers for Thornton. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for Thornton EX. That's Thornton's gonna be, gonna be so sick. That's gonna that be fight so on stream is awesome. Yeah, uh, EX like, that's a legitimately is, incredible encounter. EX Thornton is a fantastic fight. Well, jeez, Johnny, you got a little elegant tombstone. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> shit! Laha bread. It's the devil in the no, post. No, that's not Laha bread, that's Iggy. Wait, who? Be consumed by fire and ice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they yell when they're <laughs> doing the Get ultimate. Get shit on, idiot. Get shit on, idiot. You gotta add some more echo and reverb to your voice. Yeah. So what's Sid doing on the ship? <laughs> One of the few booboo ones, Sanyako mentions. It's true. We rarely get female. <laughs> this is my ship. This is this mine. Is you can't have it. It looks like my you're like mine. <laughs> This is just one of 2,000 tombstones that I have. I you rolled a 99 on this. Mine. <laughs> yeah. No, you can just do this regularly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like while she's binding our character like this, she realizes shit. We have some of the blessing of light back, so I can't kill you right here. I think that's their justification dude. for it. But it's like, ah, uh, finally, am I smart? the other seven people finally? Stop I, I, yeah, I got my paycheck, bro. I'm gone. Yeah, the other seven people are just in the airship and leaving. Game Master, she's stealing my loot. <laughs> I rolled a 99 on that mount. So I, I, I you see you pull up. I'm like, the organization! What's funny, Blue Dino, is that we later are going to get a justification for the duty finder in in-story reasons, believe it or not. <laughs> Only four expansions too late. Yeah, four expansions later, we're actually going to make the duty finder canon, but it'll make sense when we get to it. The actual justification right now is it's just seven dickheads who are in the area. Yes. They clock out at 8 p.m. and it's 8.01. Absolutely. Stay on that fucking grind set. So the reason why Thornton and the Ascian are here is because Bismarck, inside of its belly at some point or another, swallowed the key to Oz's Law. That's going to be our final area for Heaven's War. Uh, and Oz's Law holds the Warring Triad in its prisons. And Thornton, here, the Pope, wants to harness the power of the Warren Triad to make his own and to become godlike. Why is the Triad Warring? Uh, because it's a Final Fantasy VI reference, right? 
and they were called the Warren Triad then, so they're going to call them the Warren Triad now. I still think it works. Why can't they be the piecing triad? No, because peace is boring. Have you met Sephiroth? I want blood. Sephiroth! I hear he's the end and the beginning. How can he do that? That's cheating. Uh, Cheshire, you're saying like the balance mech for Sophia. I was playing this game back when accuracy checks were still a thing. Just oh, hit boy. it, forehead. Just fucking What's hit that? it. What's that? Tanks needs like the You max didn't have X. enough accuracy? Guess your attacks just fucking missed then. I'm glad they got rid of accuracy as You missed the cruise chaser. I can't imagine just the feeling of missing Brute Justice. Like, how yeah. do you miss him? He's right there. <laughs> just fucking, he's fucking three feet in front of you, dude. Hey, Sierra. Sand in the attack. Chat. Hey, how's it going, Sierra? In canon, my man's is the size yeah. of a fucking building. I do not miss accuracy as a substat in this game because it was just dog shit. Imagine being at the level and eye level for it and your attacks still just fucking miss for no fucking reason. Hit or miss, I bet you never miss, huh? I will say, Azza's Law does a really good job of just being menacing as shit. I love yeah, Azza's really. Law as an area. But, uh, I think it's. I, I love the theme. I love yeah. the fucking theme. It's a. I can't fun. believe they brought it back later in like the dumbest way possible. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh fuck! We didn't unlock the damn flight for this thing. Oh yeah, because I still haven't done Sleepless and OK's Undo. It's all the way over there, though. All right, hold on. I'm going to be that asshole. Uh, and I'm going to go do that side quest now. Get out of the way, guys. I got a side quest to do over. Wait, you didn't aggro me. Yeah, they're nice guys. What the fuck? You're level 60? And that's in Dimmy and the not? Mighty Master of Magic. Oh, no, get there. I guess they just didn't see me. Idiots. Accuracy. <laughs> so odds on doing the ultimate fate in that area. If it spawns Editha, I will do it. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to actively try. I've seen it for once. It. I've only seen it a handful of times, and I've been playing this game for eight years. Wait, uh, the the ult, the proto ultima weapon fate in Ozzy's Law. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Does it play I'm ultima? Like it doesn't play Since ultima he's... because you're not fighting ultima. You're, the, you're plays, fighting. You're plays... fighting this, the fucking Ochu thing. No, 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 oh, it right, plays right, thunder. Right. He's just kind of there. Yeah. It plays the thunder song, which is like, eh. Oh, Twister. Yeah. I'm like, since he said accuracy. <laughs> sir? <laughs> sir? I'm going to have to reframe you if you're using such a word. Gurgle Thank grass. You. Yeah, hold on. I got you, man. Okay. I'm like, since he said accuracy. Twisters. Uh, but what were we gonna do? Uh... <laughs> Twisters. God, shut up! Stop stupid. that shit, man. Twisters. God, I'm so glad. Although when we um when we did Eureka Orthos, right? It was me. It was my friend Resh. It was Nora, and myself. And uh, wait, who else? Uh, it was Resh and uh, my friend Barry. And when we got to the Twintania clone the first time, and I was like, do you want me to explain it? And I was like, no, I think I already know what this guy's going to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> out of guess. Out of guess. And we start doing the fight. And as soon as I see Twisting Dive, I was like, all right, everybody move as soon as it dies. <laughs> because it's sure enough, fucking Twister spawn Twister underneath sick. your feet as soon as it dies. I popped off so hard when I saw that. Yeah. I cried. <laughs> I don't like. I, I I don't mind twist. Like twisters are still a very funny fucking mechanic. Just, oh, just it's because hilarious. people don't know how to do it. But at the same time, it's like I know how to do it, so I like. It. <laughs> My issue with it is because Ucob in DSR both yeah. have twisting dive. Yes, they, they have do. two different timers. Oh fuck. <laughs> Twisting Dive locks in the location as soon as the cast bar ends. Twisting Dive in DSR locks in in the middle of the animation. <laughs> and so it's you, so if you toxic. Out, if you go out too early, you can fuck yourself by thinking that you're safe when you're not. The, the main issue is Death of the Heavens because somebody has to start in front of somebody else. Right. Ooh. Oh, so, right, right. 
If you move too early, you bait it off center and they just run directly into it trying to dodge the exit quick. Yeah. I mean, we didn't. We, we showed it off during uh, the coil stream for Romani months ago, but I'm pretty sure we had a couple of deaths of twisters. Uh, we, we had a we had a poll where six people all died with twister. Yes, that <laughs> I was, is I was true. recently rewatching. I guess I was. Yeah. You no, know, that show's so fucking funny. Yeah. No, my favorite my favorite fight of that that stream was uh, fucking the three headed guy. Uh, Leah. What was it? Kalia. Kalia, right? You and Linky were tanking that. Oh, right. Uh, I was trying to talk to Linky about what he needed to do, and my man was panicking. Yeah, well, no, it's Bro. more like you guys getting cleaved, and you in unison both making the ooh <laughs> noise. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, obviously you're taking that's required. <laughs> Bro, I haven't done that fight in years. I was just, like, trying to remember it. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Josh? Uh, we just wrapped up the Bismarck fight in Heaven Sword. We're, we're going to be calling it soon. I think we're going to call it as soon as we get to Oz's Law. Uh, because no, actually, are we getting to Oz's Law anytime soon? Uh, me whipping up the journal. No, uh, no, because we haven't. We still haven't. Ex we ha we have not uh, ventured into uh, Ildshire yet, and we haven't done the Great Google Library. Uh, what yeah. was one? Uh, we're on sleep. Um, the main story. Uh, we're yeah. on difference of opinion. Yeah, because you've never been to Idleshire and you haven't met. Uh, yeah, we haven't. We haven't been to Idleshire yet. We haven't done Great Google Library. And you uh, haven't seen Nistola too. And we haven't seen Nistola yet. Uh, so, yeah, that is what we are. Oh, yeah, yeah you kind of hit a fucking U turn here. Yeah, we, we are not at the end of the game yet, but we're getting close ish. But I think we're going to be calling it a wrap soon ish because we're already close to three and a half hours into the stream. Oh, yeah, you still got to go meet with fucking Matoya. Yeah, that's in uh, the Giovanni and his plans, so. though. Yeah, you gotta, she's got to tell you to go read. Right. Fuck I wish you hit, the, you hit the app response of, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, I can't read. Fine. Uh, before we all do that, Chaos Alex, were you able to get back into the server? The reason uh, why you probably what? weren't able to get in the last couple days is because the motherfucking bitch doesn't auto-sync. <laughs> and so I just did the, the sync about an hour ago. Hmm. The force integration, I swear, only works half of the time. It literally works on none of the servers that I'm in out of the 10 that I'm in. Wait, so does it work that have thing? like Twitch no, integration it does not work specifically? With yours, like, Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Mm. That's specifically a Twitch integration. It just does not work. Great product, by the way. We They asked for money for this service now. That's crazy. I'm paying for shit. Such as so Linky's account. Uh, Twitch integration is supposed to go through every hour for auto sync. The last time Linky's Discord server was synced with Twitch was Monday. What? Yikes! So that would have been a manual sync. <laughs> oh, is oh, this running to virus? Ah, yes, the quote-unquote evil character that... No, no, he's no, evil. Morris is definitely evil. No, he's evil. No, like, there's no, no, no. no misanswer bit about that. Yeah, the definitely evil character that we mu that we will, quote-unquote, will fight <laughs> later on. <laughs> God, I'm so no, fucking... Discord constantly fucking gaslighting me, thinking it's not an actual problem. <laughs> What's the live Wesker react? Reveal yourselves at once! Ragula. I like this guy. Until the rework. Now I hate this guy. What's up with the glowy lights? Because he has a helmet on. God, <laughs> these cosplayers and their fucking LEDs that they, <laughs> yeah, they wire no. through their guts. I, like, I hope you have central air in that shit. More beast men. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> <Travel> <laughs> <Delta>? <laughs> Did you try turning it off and on again? Guardian's of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. Why are you here? Yeah, I think he just wants to play more of a dedicated role for it. So this is Varus. We've seen him a couple of times beforehand, namely as he was spitting on someone's grave. But this is the new emperor of the empire. No, that that's uh, that's a World of Warcraft villain. No, he's the also emperor. correct. He's the emperor of the empire. This is Varus. The re yeah, as Nora <laughs> describes him, a rehydrated raisin. Yeah, correct. 
And once you guys get into Shadowbringers, I have a lot to say about this guy. I'm gonna <laughs> save it to fucking this. Look, don't okay. worry, you get to fight fight that guy the first time with Miss Makoto, so it's great. I hope yes. you like his one scene for the next 60 hours. Exactly, but my f- <laughs> I hate his helmet. What, you don't like his fucking lightning conduit? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it does a great job as a helmet. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I know. it does not protect anything except for the top of his head. I love his, I love his tank buster, by the way, of citrus. Yeah, <laughs> I love oranges. <laughs> I really like oranges. That's the tiny dragon voring his scalp. <laughs> also, uh, you don't have to worry about him because uh, if at any point you make him mad, he has to walk at you, and he walks slower than a snail. He walks so. slower than a fucking. <laughs> Geriatric, but so like driver. horror villain walk. Yeah, no, dude. Because at the very least, the likes of Jason and Michael Myers teleport when they're off screen. This motherfucker walks at a whole one and a half mile. Per you can kite him. Like one you can legitimately kite this one and a <laughs> half mile per day. <laughs> this guy walks oh, so slow. So it's a it's a grandma has more hustle than you. Kind yeah. of walk. <laughs> 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 she ain't got legs. We don't always have to fight the big emperor, especially considering that compared to Xenos, he was really unprepared. I was not expecting a grandiose showdown with Varus because he always did strike me as the more of a political, like, mouthpiece than anything else. At the same time, I'm not exactly a fan of what his fate ends up being later down the road. Holy shit, Alphano, you murdered those men. But we'll have to wait until Shadowbringers to get into that. Take cover. Did Who I said that? that? Lucy, how did you get Lucia. here? It's the, that's right, I keep forgetting that she's the fucking sister of this one character. Uh, yes. Yeah, she's the sister what? of uh, uh, fucking Levia. Levia? Yeah, yep. Livia. Yeah, she's a sister. Uh, she. Holy shit! Your your sister got dicked down hard. <laughs> hey, I killed her sister. No hard feelings, right? Yeah, they do mention it early in the Heaven Sword expansion. Yeah, I uh, read that. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's your fucking problem. Hey, you I remember player. that airship. <laughs> <laughs> that's the airship from the opening movie of 1.0. Yeah, not so the airship. So they were talking of, in reference to they did they do bring reference to this ship earlier. It's uh, it's Lola Rito that mentions that that they were secretly building a airship the equivalent of the Agrius, which was the 1.0 battleship that got nuked to hell and back by Mid Garson. Say what? Mm -hmm. Is that the Del Riata? Yes, that's the Del Riata. Wait, Wait, what the? I, that... I, I'm once again gonna go on my Baja rant. Yeah. No, 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 Wait, 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 Isn't wait, that wait. the super weapon from 15's movie? Shut no. up. <laughs> Shut your fucking face. The, I'm pretty sure that's the super weapon from 15's no. movie, where Shut it, like, your, shoots sh orbs. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Do you have any war nerds in town to know exactly what that, which ship that was? I swear, Ray, once we get to Bajo, we both have, like, something to talk about. Oh, now. no, I'm just going to go on my usual tirade of why Bajo is the greatest content they ever put in the game. Oh, no, 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 I completely agree. Oh. It's just the fucking plot of one special part, especially when you no, I'm get gonna, the I'm gonna, the limits. I'm going to disagree there. I think content-wise, it was fine. I'm yes. a content guy. The, yeah, if you're a content the guy, story, then the content itself is fine. The story, though, is like, yeah, so all that shit we build up to, we're going to handle it off screen. Yeah, like, no, this, 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 fuck, the story is ass. However, you. <laughs> Miss Makoto Jinba does get screen time. Therefore, I love it. <laughs> oh, shit, man. The Baja storyline act actively angered me because of it just really how did. unfinished it was. Baja is unfinished because the writer left midway. Really? I did not know that line back. Well, it was Baja. But Baja I had a promising start. It really did. It really fucking did, man. But my god, once you got to literally learning about the weapons and yeah. learning the process of how to actually learn about them, I'm like, god Damn it! <laughs> yeah, no, the, the final boss of that storyline is definitely just kind of a jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he come from? How yeah, you did mentioned he... like two or three times, but... When? <laughs> when? 
<laughs> Did they just went straight to fucking Void Arc? It Although said... I will, I will stay eternally mad about the fact that they reused a perfect Alexander model that fast. Yes, they did. I was so angry <laughs> like, because they, did. they demoted my boy so fast. They demoted him so fast. fast. How long had it been after we cleared fucking T that they reused that fucking model? It was literally like long. the patch after because we grind. So we, when we, when we were progging through T, I think it was during the downtime of either 5.3 or 5.4. One of those things. I'm not sure. Uh, we, did, was, we, we, we did it before 5.3 five. because of the delay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the delay. Yeah, it's I forgot how delayed. The, oh my God. Like the delay because of the pandemic was torture because we were on the same cycle of content for like eight months i want to say eight or nine months mm -hmm. i and love it, heroes gauntlet and yeah it was it was bad uh but you know still it was too soon for <laughs> t to get demoted like that just fucking perfect alexander jump scare The fuck? Someone knocking on my door? Is the pizza here? It's it's perfect Alexander. Right. Can <laughs> <laughs> you get demoted, out of the fucking video man. again? They demoted me, guys. I've got a fucking vent. That's still one of my favorite videos. It's just a fucking, just like a perfect Alexander knocking on the door, fucking Mobius playing in the background. <laughs> as it gets louder too. as he's run, yeah. running up to the screen. As you look to the keyhole, when you look to the people, it just says. <laughs> My glaze upon my perfectness, and they just see the fucking in cast. I just realized, uh, didn't her sister use a magic armor prider? Yeah, that's what it's in reference to, Luna. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're talking about the Livia fight pre rework, where you had to use Magitek missiles to destroy the Magitek armor. Yeah, yeah. Glad it was changed. <laughs> Will you be going for the solo duels in Baja? <laughs> Later am, down the road again, but that's something I want to do on Joan first before I do a remind because I, have, I haven't done the solo have, fights now. Yeah, I haven't either. I uh, don't uh, know how to do that fight. I have been a brother. part of a few solo instances. Like I've been chosen for the duels, but I never finished any of them. Uh, that explains it. The duel, the duels I do are you are like solo savage and solo ultimate encounters. They are legitimately fucking hard. The second round versus lion, in my opinion, is genuinely one of the hardest fights in the game. It's so fucking hard. God, once we do pause, I'm gonna be like, all right, Ray, put me in. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I can help you cheese fucking penis. Penis is very easy to cheese. If you're a party of somebody else. Oh, this is who's penis? This is this is where they established that Lucia is the sister of Lucia. Lucia felt at home on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. But because we're blood relatives, that means I have all the skills of the magic armor as she did, as it works, you know. Yeah, Clearly. that passes down by a sister. Yeah, I can work a stick shift because I'm related to my dad, who can also work a stick shift, which just means by relation I can work I a thought, stick shift. I don't know why. I thought you said stick shift. But I thought this was going to be a fucking guy's his penis joke. No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's Sorry, stick shaft. <laughs> what do you mean by penis? Man, right? man has multiple kids, <laughs> what do you mean by the way. <laughs> Yeah, the Baja solo duels I have not completed as my main character. Yeah, and I, Gabriel? I want no, not even. I haven't done anybody because um, huh. I was more. I, I went to Baja to complete my relic. Like I didn't care about the achievements and like the mounts. Uh, that is that said, it's still something I want to do. It's on my bucket list, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Gaius doesn't have kids per se. He adopted a bunch of kids, though. We'll learn about them later. We'll learn about them later. That's more of a Shadowbringers thing. Yeah, look forward to the goofy ass Discord girls. Yeah. I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. God, I'm also fucking just about to Jataru this year or this uh, patch. <laughs> just one fucking QT is all it is. Fucking God! I'm mad, Ray. What happened? The Taru event? Or the, uh, Taru's Grand Did you fuck up the quick time event? No. <laughs> I'm just disappointed it's a quick time event. It's not even like a real one. I know, but at the same time, I wish it was an actual fight. Oh, so I forget. Is this the... Does she always 
have her Especially third eye like exposed like that? Thomas. Or is that yes. something no. for this cutscene? Oh, uh, no, but no, she always has a... Uh, she always a, she, uh, she had like a band on, right? Yes. Yeah, she yeah. has like a weird crown. Yeah, thingy. right, to hide her third eye. Because, yeah, Lucia is a Garlean. Uh, obviously, she's related to Livia, but... Yeah, I think that's like supposed to be like a twist. Yeah, yeah so, no, uh, thank sorry, you. Clint. Thank you, Baxter. Instant turn off, third eye. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing with Garleans. Garleans just straight up have a third eye, like on their forehead. That's what that little thing is in their forehead. That is a third eye. Uh, and I don't know what it's used for primarily, outside of just having, I guess, better vision. But Can I they like see to, mana with it. I like to think it's the reason why Garleans are magically inept. Because that's the thing with 14 and Garleans. Garleans cannot use magic. They are physically. Can they see it? They are physically more suited for battle than we are. Anybody, any race in the game, actually. Garleans are physically just built different from any other race, but they cannot use magic. That's why they made Magitek uh, to, you know, counterbalance that fact. Muscle is stored in the third eye. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> So, we're trying to make a beeline for Oz's Law right now. We can't, though, because a barrier is blocking our pathway. Fuck, man. I hate getting cucked by a barrier. Put it reverse, Sid. Reverse, reverse, reverse. We need passports. God damn it. We're not cleared to enter the Present area. Present hall pass. We don't have a hall pass. We're going to have to Why make Why did you say turn. that? And they escaped the face. <laughs> so... <laughs> I guess the third eye gives them negative 99 faith and plus 20 int. Yes. No, because intelligence is a magic based stat in 14. Plus, plus 20 strength. Plus, plus 20 strength, oh. I think, is a better way of putting it, yes. Or plus 20 vitality. Well, do you remember? The intelligence you allows remember, them to make the match attack. You guys remember stat bonuses? No. Uh, no. That, that was a thing for a while. Yeah, in like Heaven Sword and I think Stormblood, or it might have been dropped in Stormblood. There was uh, it's, a, it's still in the game. It's still, I'd imagine, but there was a, there was a little thing you can do with your stats. They were called stat. Every time you leveled up. Oh, it was yeah, stat distribution. Yeah, I think yeah. That ended in ARR. You also you not only leveled up, you also got a stat point, point. Uh, and you always put it that towards the stat of the class that you majored in. So like, if I was a tank, right? Uh, every time you got a stat bonus point, you always put it towards vitality because vitality was the main stat of tanks. It sucked. Because it just invited a lot of discourse of what you should be putting your stat towards for min-maxing purposes. You could thankfully redistribute. Them yeah, you could thankfully, but it was also it was a headache in conversations. So no, they just it's... fucking got rid of it. Uh, my, and thank God. My cause... favorite thing that happened with that early, with like early systems like that is that, like you know, what race you play doesn't matter, except in one exact situation. <laughs> oh boy, which one? In ARR. If you were playing Black Mage, you were re you were required to play Lalafell. Yeah, Lala so you probably you got off an extra fire. You probably noticed it if you're playing the game yourself, but when you're picking a race for your character, you might have noticed there are these differences, border like negligible stat differences in strength, intelligence, vitality, mind, all that sort of thing, depending on the race you pick. If you were absolutely about that min-max game, you would pick a specific race for a specific class to get the most DPS out of it. In the case of Black Mage, you'd have to be Lalafell because Lalafell were inherently, inher and, I and I put inherently in massive fucking quotation marks here, they were better at caster roles than any other race in the game. So if you wanted the best possible numbers, if you were all about that shit, you'd have to be a Lalafell for caster rolls. Do not worry about that. No, it's not relevant. It is not relevant at all. It is still racial, a thing. It is still a thing in this game. I want to make clear. Racial yeah. stats have come up for me uh, off the top of my head exactly once. Yes. Racial stat I, differences. I I literally died by one by one HP that if I was a different race, I would have survived it. But, but that they are totally fucking inconsequential. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they got their head up their ass, and I'd probably defriend them as soon as possible. Yeah, no, that's a that's a psychopath you're talking yeah. to. 
just play what you want. Play what you want. Play what race you want. Play what job you want. You as you keep playing this game, right? I can't believe we're having this heartfelt lesson like at the end of this story or anything else. But at the end of this patch of the this session or anything else. As you keep playing this game, you're going to get into that discourse of like, oh my god, Red Mage is like the weakest skill in the game because they don't have enough buffs, right? But it's like it doesn't fucking matter. Play, no, realistically, no. Re- play what you want. Play whatever you want, when you want. It does not matter. If statistics... It, it, those that complain that Red Mage is statistically the lowest DPS compared to everyone else in the current game content are those that are just looking to have samurai numbers with their kit intact. It's like, that's not... That is never how the game worked. And I don't know why you think it's suddenly different now. It does not matter. Yeah, so... I, I people in chat are like mentioning it it's like the only people that it's ever gonna matter how much dps you do is exactly in the super high end rating yes which if you are like oh well what kind of high end rating is that then you do not need to worry about what what job you're playing um there is a 14 streamer arthur's has his name older than he looks for the record too because his, his kid is 10 years that old dude is in his 40s and he looks younger than me Oh my god, really? Made a great point that if you just know your basic rotation, your basic toolkits, you are capable of clearing any content in this game. Even ultimate. If FF logs show you that you're parsing green or blue, which is like above average, but like perfectly average stats, you are more than capable of clearing any content in this game. You do not have to be purple parsing. You do not have to be pink parse. You do not have to be a gold parse. You do that for self-improvement, obviously, but you do not need to know every little thing about this game to clear even the hardest content of this game. As long as you know how your kit works, you are more than qualified to play any content in this game. Any content that includes ultimates. So do not ever get so up in arms about minimal stat references because it does not matter. It does not matter. And don't let anyone yeah. ever tell you otherwise. It does not. Outside matter. of exactly the Omega Protocol, like yeah. your the DPS you do is going to be fine. Yeah. And that's only because the Omega Protocol is balanced like ass. If someone yeah. tries to make you play a certain class due to a tier list, hit them with the old "you don't pay my sub." Maybe not that one. Maybe but not. Like, maybe not that one because tell them they get their head out of their fucking yes, ass. And stop looking because at that. Because people have hit me with the "you don't pay my sub." on the basic shit like with tanks specifically they don't pop cool like i'm i'm healing a dungeon and i notice the tanks aren't using any cooldowns and they wonder why they're dying will hit me with you don't pay my sub i was like all right then fucking die then you piece of shit you dumbass like, just all right time for dps for me <laughs> as long as you know the basic gist of how your role works how your actions combo into one another and how to properly utilize them when it's time you are more than capable of clearing any content in this game <laughs> Tell them uninstall ACT. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I'm gonna pin your message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't even do that. But me. yeah. So we're gonna call it a wrap there. I gotta take a big ass fucking piss. Like I've been holding it in for like the last 20 minutes. But uh this was fun, guys. So we're likely we're probably not gonna end Heaven Sword by next session, but we're close. Uh we only have one dungeon left with two dungeons left, but we have the I great Google. I'm just to tell you how many fucking quests you have left. We have Great Google Library and we have the Ethereal Research Facility, I think. The Ethereal Chemical Research Facility, ARF. Uh and then we have the final trial. Uh for base 3.0 Heaven Sword. After that, we are in post-game content, and that is where things get silly. Because we have a lot of post-game content for Heaven's Word and beyond. We have the Alexander Raids. Uh, we have cool. Pot D, Pots of the Dead. Uh, and oh. we have the Relic. Uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? I think that's it, right? Those are like the major Oh, three. and the Warren Triad. The Warren Triad quest line? You're right about that. There's you actually still... don't have too many more quests in right. and uh, Heaven's uh, Word. Uh, Void Arc. Uh, thank you, Editha. Uh, so... Yeah, there's still plenty to do after Heaven Sword ends, like base 3.0 Heaven the ends, but uh but at the same time, like the the MSQ story post Heaven Sword up until the beginning of Stormblood is great shit. I can't wait to experience that with you guys because we start planting seeds for shit that's gonna have major payoffs in Stormblood and Shadowbringer specifically. And it's gonna be so great. I hope. I don't raise your hope. It's too high for that one, but I love post-game Heaven Sword. It is some of the best Pay attention. Content. Yeah, it, it is legitimately some of the best content for it has to offer. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, let us raid a fellow streamer. 
Uh, Fonz is still alive, by the way, playing Four Swords Adventure. That poor fuck. Yeah. By, uh, Fonz himself. by himself. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Fonz is also a lunatic. Yeah, so that makes sense. okay. So we're going to go raid Fonz. We need a raid hashtag, though. Uh, Let me. What's up? What's wrong with the guy? <laughs> what's wrong with him? What do you mean by that? Uh, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I like hashtag. What was it? Nice portrait. Nice portrait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should, yeah, just use that. Uh, hashtag nice portrait. If he has 7TV enabled, he might see that. Uh, no, he would, he would need to enable on his channel. God damn it. But yeah, either way, if you ask for context, don't give it to him. Just send the picture of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Just like, just have that cat in his DMs. Yeah, so hashtag nice portrait. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow for both the community Q&A and a movie night afterwards. And I won't subject What's you What's the movie? To uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fall. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Again. <laughs> We're watching it again. So excited. We're watching it again. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we are likely going to watch. I'm going to pick a suggestion from the suggestions block actually because uh, last time it was my pick and it was Mortal Kombat. Uh, so we are going to. I'm going to pick a movie from the suggestion box in the Discord <laughs> and then we're going to continue on from there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'll see you next week for more Heaven Sword Adventures and I hope you guys enjoyed the DMC4 video. Thank you very much if you already watched it. And if you haven't, yeah, just head over to my main channel over on YouTube. Uh, some call me Johnny. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the community night and later this week for more streams. Have a good night, everybody. Take care and send Fonz my love. Plumbers don't wear ties. Hmm. Don't agree. They do when I'm <laughs>